Yo, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hello! Uh, Starburst, hello. Kiambi, Frey Fran, Requiem, Wallen, Dan J, Joni, Ada. Hello, guys. Also, just give me a, a heads up how the microphone sounds because uh, it changed again. And I love when it changes. Actually, it almost seems like it's a little bit softer. Oh, yeah. Like, I had like two updates. I might, I might increase the volume, because it seems like it's not getting as high as I want it to. Yeah, it looks like it to me. I'm looking at the uh, volume value, and it seems like it's a little bit softer. Um, the last time was really soft, right? Let me go into the settings right now. It actually did it twice since... It did it like once on Tuesday, and then did it yesterday again. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate that, man. Um, this is the one thing I hate about my new setup. Well, it's not really my new It's because of the headphones I'm using. Test. Test. No. You can go to max? I mean, that... I guess that works, yeah. I guess that's a little better. I'll go to 97. That's a little better. Okay. We can do with that. No, a little lower. I'll go to 96. Alright, so it's like 92, now it's 96. That should be... okay. 95. Oh yeah, that should be fun. It never looked a lot lower. Alright, we should work with that one. Hey Jonks, how you doing? Alright, Ninja! Let's get right in, we got a long day today. I'll catch up with you guys inside. Um, this is the redemption arc for Ninja. And hopefully we can have redemption. At least that's the idea. Bloop. Nice start. Um... Also better start. Wee! Come here. Good on! Good. Hope you guys are having a good Thursday. Uh, I had an amazing day. And I am now here. Pretty long day, but a pretty good day. Oh, I almost missed hit my button there. That's the exits. Doing good, did Mitchell's ballad for Hades for the first time. Oh, how'd you find, uh... How'd you find that? Scurry and scatter? All I remember from that fight, which I never did that fight, was, um... That there was that one, like, really, like, that one sweet spot in, like, phase two that everyone stands in and you could basically just cheese all the mechanics, that's all I know. Mauling at some PvP. I'm almost done with getting the armor. Probably one or two more PvP days and I'm done with getting the armor. Off work the next three days. Looking forward to it. <laughs> nice. I tried um I tried theater rhythm for like a minute yesterday. What a great game. Definitely gonna be an offline game for me. Um I gotta get used to the game anyway, but it's definitely an offline game, but it is good. I, I think I'm still- I think I will commit to the PlayStation, but I won't be opposed to also getting it on Switch, to be honest. Depending on, like, who has it and stuff, but um, I do benefit a little bit off having it on PlayStation right now because of the, uh... Kind of, uh I, I might have the opportunity to play it um, with other people on the PlayStation, like, now. Hiya Papaya. The 13 tracks in the demo are fun. I did 13 first, and I wanted to just get to um, Blinded by Light, and I was very happy. I mean, they went right to the good ones. You know, the Fires of Fate is obviously the, like the first one. Into Saber's Edge, which is of course like a like a classic one that they always use, and then of course Blinded by Light. So I was pretty happy with that one. I didn't see what the field one was. I did want I did want to get to Sunlit, but I didn't have very much time yesterday. So I just played it a little bit yesterday, and I, I just did a Blinded by Light, and was pretty happy, so... Pretty happy about the experience. <laughs> uh, I'm level 23, going for armor, and I'm done, nice! Yeah, I'm like level 22, I think, or 20. I'm like right there. I did a couple when I when I got home yesterday at night, like late, late night. Pushed, the, pushed out a couple more, and then yeah, so I'm, I'm, right, I'm like right there. Hey Virgil, how you doing? Good day.
Dun, 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 dun. What is this? I don't know. Oh, this was a silver. Mmm. Do you know what happened? You know what to fix? Always my question, you know, do you know what happened? Or do you need any assistance figuring out what to fix, so on and so forth? Miss Tina! Oh my god. This sub is as old as I am. Damn. Angelus animate Angelus Jim animate Angelus as. The Elder Stasemen, Miss Tina Soros Rex. Hello Tina, thank you for passing by, thank you for the continued support. I appreciate you. And as always, I hope you're doing a fantastic... Doing fantastic over there at your end of the world. Only a few years older than you. Yeah, we're all old. I get it. <laughs> I get it! I'm getting my birthday soonish, so you know. We're getting there. Bum, 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 bum. Come here, turtle. Mr. Turtle. Okay, good. Witching? I'll save it just in case we get the mimic. Let me save you. Uh, I screwed up, positioned him in the wrong corner and got- OH NO! Yeah. The AoE positions- I think AoE- like there's so much I think I, I take for granted now with Behemoth. That I don't really talk about and explain, I just kinda do it on my runs. And something as simple as positioning AoEs is part of what I take for granted. Cause I- I- I, be, I pretty much have it down to a science, like we just do it consistent every single time. But yeah, getting it consistent, getting used to it, second attempt in. But it's okay, as long as you kind of recognize what the problem is, um, then you can certainly resolve it the next time. I mean, you know, like, climbing the floors, Virgil, that's always gonna be almost like a, you know, we kind of, uh, best way I can do it, say it, it's like, it's like a guideline, right? We can guide you in a direction to, to make the best possible choice. However, when it comes to, when it comes to Behemoth, that's a that's a scripted fight, and that really comes down to just execution. It's you know, it, it's really if anything, that's the only part that's like no different than doing a raid. So if something is faltering there, then you know you just have to you just have to figure out what it is that's faltering and then adjust the adjust the strategy. Is all. No, that's fantastic. I I'm still I'm still amazed at some of you guys getting there like that high the second time. Like it's just ridiculous to me. Considering how long it took me to get like to even the high levels in my in my very beginning, I just find it I still find it so amazing. But I think it is a testament to the information available and everything that you guys can can tap into that the guys are really that good. Or the information is that good, or the people helping you are that good, you know. And it's really exciting to see it. I noticed in FAQ that there was a macro for turning well uh turning off well fed and wanted to ask why you, you'd want to do that. So it's, it is still a viable strategy, Chonks, although you will not see it very much in Endwalker, but in Shadowbringers and a little bit of Stormblood, but there weren't too many people running Stormblood. That was a required strategy because your HP numbers were so tight that you needed to take out the food to, make, to actually live through Meteors. So it was part of the strategy we utilized to, to, uh, to weave it in and to basically keep the run going. That's how tight it was. But nowadays, because um and the main the main the main reason why you don't need that anymore, it's because when they did the stat squish, when they when they did from Shadowbringers to Endwalker and they did the stat squish, they, the potions that exist, like max potions is a is a perfect example. Max potions were basically exactly the same as they were from Shadowbringers to Endwalker. So what do they do right now? They heal where is it? Where, where's my max push? They heal 30% for 2400 HP. That's what it did in Shadowbringers. So if you bring out, if you bring down all your HP by half, like the max HP to half, and you still have a potion that's doing 30% for 2400, essentially you're getting more HP back per heal. So if a lot of healing strategies involved utilizing a healing potion to get through, you know? Of course, like, Tincture is a different story. But when you're talking about a healing strategy, 
you're healing basically for almost double the amount of your total HP. So it negates the requirement of removing food. Does that make sense? Because food, food effectively, which I think Jar Jar just said, but I'll say it anyway, um, it drops your HP total. So, it, so you have a lower percentage HP. So instead of taking, so let's say you had a thousand HP, right? Eighty percent of that is what eight hundred. So if you drop your HP to like nine fifty, uh, if you drop your HP to like eight fifty, you're not taking eight hundred damage. You're taking like seven fifty at like quick maths or something like that. So that means you have to heal less. Um, and if you're relying on a regeneration pick to get you back, that might be just enough to get you back. Makes sense. Does that make sense? But again, nowadays, it's a little unnecessary because uh, the way the HPs are, the way the, way the potions are, it, it, it negates it. But it is still a thing that I have on my bar depending on the job because um, sometimes if I mess up the healing tick, sometimes if I just mess up some type of thing on the rotation, I have a backup to drop my HP a little lower so I can take the, take the meteor. Did a flat amount of damage wasn't based- No, it, it is based on a flat amount of percentage. It's always 80% of your max HP. So it'll always do whatever your max HP is, and then 80% of that. So by dropping your percentage, you're in that in essence lowering the number of, of, of that you're taking. If the exit's the opposite direction, I'll go this way. That is how Meteor works. And, you know, I think it's still worth having it in there. Um... You know, the, when you look up videos and whatever POVs, you're probably not going to watch the gamer take all food. It won't be talked about, it won't be mentioned. But I think it's still worth having it in there because there could be a reason why you need it. But it's super emergency. Super niche, super emergency this way. Hello, hello! Maybe useful in EO. Um, yeah, the only reason, the only time it would be useful in EO is if there's any percentage damage. Um, that's the only situation in which it's going to be useful. So. Ayo! Did you- what kind of strategy did you use? Did you just use a kiting strategy, or did you just use the regular melee strategy? Because the kiting strategy, this if you do the corner strategy, I mean, that's, that's, that's really safer arranged, but, um... If you tried to do the melee strategy, then that's actually pretty awesome. I'm actually more scared of I died two times with advice to the monkeys. That's fair. I mean, that's something that's something that you you have to get to. You don't just walk into Behemoth. Um, yeah, monkeys are rough. Um, that's why they're a meme. That's why you're probably gonna see them in Eureka Orthos because they are one of the staples of Deep Dungeon. The melee chef with suggestion for made where you try to leave him more at five o'clock. To cast Quagga, and then he stops at three o'clock in his own meteor. Ah, yeah, I, I, I can see that. That's a good suggestion. That's a good suggestion. Oh my God! Five monkeys and five Anzus. Well, they wanted to kill you, I guess. Makes no seal very comfy, since that's probably the spices all you take. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good suggestion. Let's go. Five gorillas. Wow. Oh uh, well. Rip. Big rip. Intuition, my favorite. I decided to plus heaven on high for my vods. Uh, Discord resources again. Got to 80 paladin with good pawns, so I'm sort of practice. Hey, it's why they're there, man. And and hey, Jar Jar, I, I did paladin recently uh, in 6.3, so even more so that might be useful to you, right? There's a there's a current paladin a paladin run that we have, and you could you could tap into it if you want to. I love using fortunes and then finding out I had a. I, I, I rather, I love using rages, and then finding out I had a fortune somewhere in the floor that I could have used when I decide not to use it. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite outcome to doing that situation. Where are we going here? 
to get a string. I'm starting to learn how to move quickly and pull. Oi. And how to pull and fight and move. Good. You're progressing. You're learning, Virgil. You're learning, my friend. Like, quick pulling. Uh. Like, I think the one time I was describing it like this, Virgil, and, and, I, and I don't know if it, it was a useful description for people, but since, you know, I can make the assumption that a lot of you do raid, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you do the, do the party content, a lot of you probably use ACT and stuff like that for your DPS meters. I mean, the way you look at it is, you do, you know, you're looking at a 60 minute duty, and you need to push out as much damage as you can in 60 minutes, right? So, if you're spending time standing around waiting for things to move, standing around, you know, making decisions like, oh, do I pull this? Oh, do I pull that? Oh, do I take just... Like, if, if that's happening, you're not doing damage. And nothing's happening, you know? Yeah, okay, if you make the wrong decision, you can cause yourself more time, but in reality, the matter is, you're probably, you're probably going to save yourself more time in the long run by just pulling faster um, and just killing faster. Um, so it's something to keep, in, to keep in mind. That's something I will really implement in the later floors, I mean, that's what I learned on healer, like, like, holy moly, like, if, it, if anyone did healer, you would know that that is just probably the most important thing to do, is really to pull up as much time as humanly possible. But, um, to do that on the other jobs, you really see the difference, you know. Right now I need to practice mob types in the aggro. Are you ready to learn a whole new set of mob types that no one knows about? <laughs> Someone comes in here, hey, do you know what, uh... Do you know what the elegant monkey aggro's to? I'm like, I don't know, let me find out. Oh. I guess it's uh weakness. It it, it aggro's to it aggro's to weak people, that's what it aggro's to. Sound monkeys sound monkeys to complete the set. Well, sound monkeys that patrol. <laughs> All I need is a sound monkey that patrols. Occasionally eats bananas on the way through. Does it like a, uh, you know, does like a drive through banana. I'm here to steal the tech. Good. Good. Steal it. My campaign is rapidly approaching the epic ending, and is exciting and scary in the ult. Oh, that's cool, you know, let's go. Oopsie doopsie, my steal went out too. Getting out a banana in the middle of your safe hallway would be such a troll move. But it's pumping its chest on the move. Actually, uh, if we run into an ape that is pumping its chest that is a patrol on the move, man, that would be really brutal. <laughs> that would be something else, let me tell you. Holy moly. That is a troll. Um... Nice timing with that hide. Uh, oh yeah, I have a raising, I forgot. I'll take all the raisings you can give me, because it makes my life a lot easier. That's how I died to Nantu. Uh, it's gonna be crushing having all these secrets. I can't show my partner because it's spoilers, so it's gonna be awesome when I can finally reveal everything. <laughs> the stunny Tina. Tina, you're hiding something from your partner. How does that feel? It's okay, I'm gonna delete the bot after. You're, you're fine. I'll delete the bot after today, so they'll, they won't find out. Two monkey beats and goodbye. Yeah. My very first attempt with Gunbreaker, I triggered a lowering on 78 just now. Rip. So what happened? <laughs> did you survive? Or did you unfortunately take a death? Do you take damage if you honor bond through a landmine? Yes you do. Honor bond does not travel far enough. You need to travel at least 20 alms. I think honor bond is what, 10 or 15? You don't travel far enough.
I die because of oh no no items. Oh shit. Well, that sucks. Well, you know what? Next time you'll be ready for that one, I guess. You know, a lot of times when I see that happen, I just immediately go surrender. Like I, I don't even question. I'm like, oh, bad news. Cause like you know you kind of you kind of see what spawns, but I think a lot of times it's just a safer bet to just it's a safer bet to just uh, probably quickly do a serenity. But it's alright, it's a learning lesson. Yeah, it, it's a lesson. Hey, time mage, how you doing? Is Lala Ada the potato cute in the between shot? Is it is it cute in the screenshot you posted? I already deleted it out of my memory, dude. I have like bad short term memory, it's already gone. I have to look at it again. I'm like an old person, you know. Immediately went back in? That's the attitude. I actually remember what I wanted to ask. How food works in palace. Is it scaled based on Aether Foley or items? Um, neither. The best way we can say it, Virgil, and actually I think we do have some resources in the FAQ channel concerning this topic. Um, basically, um, you load in the game with like a base amount of stats. Like, I'm just gonna throw out a number, this is completely false, but like, let's say your your secondary stats are like 100 each or something like that. Um, everyone has that same base, uh, base that you start with. Aether Pool is its own thing, so like, I guess, in theory, if you had 0 arm and armor, your food will be less effective than if you had 99, but it doesn't like, add up to the number, if that makes sense. So like, in essence, your base stats will always like give you an X percentage of buffs with the food, no matter what arm and arm you have. Um, but yeah, it's based off of a hidden number that is like a default for every every person that goes in. Um, and this is stuff that like like when you deep dive into the numbers and you kind of go into and see like damage numbers and whatnot, you, you run comparisons and you pull up these percentages. So it, it's like it's like hard information that that had been figured out and, and, and parsed and all that stuff. Um, but that's basically how it works. So like really using using food is great. The the most important part of the food is really the HP that you get out of it. Um, the higher you use the more HP you get and I believe the cap in palace is like 540 or something like that. Where if you get anything higher than 540 you're not gonna you're not gonna reap any more benefit. But I mean honestly probably again if you're a raider you're probably sitting on so much food at like 610. I mean, you know, just use that food. It's not really a big deal. Um, yeah, the secondary stats are not going to be the difference maker, uh, but potentially the HP is going to be the difference maker. So kind of a follow-up to that, like uh, I mentioned it in, in, in one of the EO videos, that, and especially we just released the last one today, which I forgot to update in the bot, but um, you want to be using, in EO, you want to be using the best food available to you. To get the biggest advantage and probably if you hadn't cleared by 6.35 when it releases when they bring out more stuff for 6.4 you probably want to upgrade the food because you get more benefit off that food but yeah i thought i need some more eye level to get the full effect um yeah so 540 and palace of dead i believe is the cap is i think the the one that is as far as you can you can get stuff out of but Um, yeah, let me catch up and chat a little bit. When you bind a monk in 91+, plus, do you do it for the duration of their evasion buff? No. I do it for the duration, Willow, of concussion. So, you let the monk punch punchy, hasty hasty, and, and, and evasion evasion, and then it punches you with concussion, then you bind, and then you wait for concussion to go out. Because concussion is the one that kills you, it's not the triple threats. The triple threats hurt, but with kiting, you're probably gonna disrupt their ability to even hit you with triple threats. But the concussion negates your potion almost. So you wanna wait, you want concussion to get out of there or be close to finished. 
and then you can continue, you can resume you can resume fighting. And that's where Monk, uh, I'm sorry, that's where Bard is so superior because all you need to do on Bard is like pre-use the uh, you want to pre-use your 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 Paeon, which blocks the first concussion, and you can just continue to kite him because he doesn't do any damage out of that. Or is so good against the against monks like that. <clears throat> uh, Chobin says two saves at one a one plus. One shot behemoth tonight, so progress so major progress in that. Fantastic. One save, no steals. Second save down to two rages and one steal. Okay. Obviously, take the worst file clearly, but uh, sounds good to me. Um, Dan J asks, how does PvP work? I never tried it before, and was thinking trying to PvP is something different. Um, you know. Honestly, it's really complicated to explain PvP, so you just kind of go in. One thing I will suggest, Anjay, go into Wolf's Den. Because when you go into Wolf's Den, it will load a different UI. Um, it will load your PvP UI, because PvP has all these different abilities. So it allows you to kind of set up your hotbar, because you don't use your main stuff. So go into Wolf's Den to set up your hotbar, and then just hop into PvP, honestly. It's the best way to, to load it. Um, because there's you got the two modes and everything and it just gets complicated to even go through the explanation. Time to level culinarian. You can just buy food too. The difference between autos versus not the difference between extra auto versus not is massive in Deep Dungeon. Surviving one more hit is probably the biggest deal that you'll ever discover in Deep Dungeon for sure. Just hopping by, I gotta start winding on for sleep. Good luck in the rest of the run. See ya Tina, have a good sleep. Uh time to break that file on a white mage. All right. Wait a minute. Is, are you are you gonna are you going to are you gonna take inspiration from debuns or something? Don't do that, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding. The lemon style. Wait, why the lemon style? Oh, I'm losing steel. Lives okay. Hey, thanks for dark raid. Do the flower pots don't work? Oh, is that how she? Di I actually didn't see how she died. All I know is that a white mage got her. Oh yeah, yeah. Flower pots don't work. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to find. I can't wait to find in the new deep dungeon. Um, we're gonna look at like an item. That looks like some feature, and we're like, oh, I wonder if we can use this to LOS, and then we just die because they can't LOS it. So you use three stones trying to- oh no. Oh god. Yeah. Shit. That sucks. Uh, lies okay, thanks for the raid, how you doing? Welcome in. I'll get you shot in a bit after I kill this basilisk. Hope you stream again. So I thought I would send him over to keep the deep dungeon going. Hey, don't worry, man. I'm I am not uh I'm not I'm not very uh particular about how many people you bring over here. I'm just very appreciative that you even chose our stream. Shout out to lives, okay. <clears throat> uh, doing 171 Reaper tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Awesome, you guys. You got a deep dungeon streamer right there. Check him out. We always like the deep dungeon streamer, so. If you need more, uh, need more people to check out during the day to, to do Deep Dungeon. And I, I would, you know, I would really suggest to, um, to really keep tabs on who is streaming Deep Dungeon, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be popping over, but it's certainly going to be nice to check out the people from the community, you know? When EO comes out, I'm sure there's lots of people who are going to be there, but I'd like to think that people from the community are going to know, you know, just a little bit more... Um, a little bit more catered to what you're more used to seeing around how we do things and all that stuff, so... I, I really love the fact, Willow, how debuns... I mean, she's done some research, she's done her, her checks and things, watched the videos, but in essence, she's like learning a lot of things on her own, on stream too. And I think it's being such a fantastic learning lesson to lots of people. Um, I know, she's getting, she's getting, uh, she's getting good, she's getting good viewership on her end for Deep Dungeon, I really love to see it. Um, but, 
But she's taking in such a such a nice stride. I love her attitude about the whole process. It's just so good. Wait, you died already? God damn it, Willow. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, shit happens. Um, this is probably going to aggro. So now I can make fun of you now. I can at least say that D-Buns got better than you. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey! Diver heads! Like the two months! <clears throat> oh snap, let's go. Finally got necromancer after months of attempts. Just wanted to thank you for all your videos slash streams. Hey Diver! Welcome to the club! Just in time too with a month to go. Hell yeah. Proud of you? Thanks for the continued support, first and foremost. Welcome to the club. That is what we like to hear in here. It turns out three seals don't matter if a Gozu sneaks up on you while you fight a monk. <laughs> yeah, they don't kind of care. It's fine. It happens. <laughs> For Banana. Oh. Got another bird. I hope, you know what, guys? Aside from... Aside from monkeys and chimeras being, you know, part of the... Part of the, um... Part of the... Crew that we should expect to see in Eureka Orthos. If I see... If I see a, a manticore patrol, an elegant manticore, Walking around with their slippers on again, I swear to god I'm gonna flip out and I'm gonna be scared to hell the entire set. <laughs> Cause I can guarantee you I'm going to die to one of them. <laughs> like, that's gonna kill me sometime in the future, holy moly. Like, it- I- 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 oddly enough, a Gozu, I think has never directly killed me a patrol, cause I always either tend to hear it, or I tend to see it cause they're so big. But a manticore, forget it, dude. The amount of times a manticore patrol has murdered me is just out of this world. I, I, it, it's almost astounding how much I've died to that. Chimera- oh my- yo, Chimera patrols are the biggest troll in Deep Dungeon. Oh, I, I would enjoy that, dude. I would enjoy Chimera patrols. I'm all for that one. Actually, I didn't realize that was a silver chest, but it's whatever. <laughs> like, uh, that kind of doesn't really look like a, uh, a gold chest. Or a bronze chest. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Manticos are fine for me, but Gozus always get me. I swear they line of sight out this world. So, I love... I love that, by the way, Joni, that everyone has their little thing for their own run. That is like a beauty of Deep Dungeon, right? It's it's one of the beautiful things of Deep Dungeon. It's not going to be the same enemy. There are going to be some commonalities, but something always gets someone on their own runs. I love it. Hey, the bees. See, I'm okay with bees. Bees have never given me a problem. Uh, but I'm very hyper-attentive to them. Like, I, I don't let them... I don't give them a, a second to, to do anything to me. You know, like, I'm, I'm highly paranoid of them. Slimes in... Oh, like... Like, oh, like, uh, oh. In, in parties? Oh my god. Hey, Zarim, how you doing? Oh, dude, no one should pull a Raijin if those <coughs> those are never fun to fight. Working so as good as I can be. Good to hear it. Hey, Suki, how you doing?
Bro, I have steel on, relax. Hey Val! Had a dense performance, so it's okay. Yeah. It does always suck. They do always suck. Yeah, they- I don't think anyone will come out of a dentist being like, this was the best time of my life. <laughs> Man. Unless like, unless you found your significant other there, maybe one could argue, but like, outside of that, I don't really think you're gonna come out of a dentist's office being like, Man, I can't believe- I can't believe my experience, it was so good. Hope you're doing well, Val. We can say that if you go there with a heavy pain, and then go out of there with it when the pain is away and saying, God, I'm so glad I went here today. True. You know what? True. That's fair. If you came out better than you were, that is a fair statement. Alright. I left so fast, I didn't even hear the victory theme. That's how it goes. Good one plus. Let me look at chat for a second and then we'll do a two minute ad. Okay, I will check that in a second. <clears throat> Doing alright, failed my second heaven on high run yesterday, diving back in now. Good, that's what I want to hear. I just done 80 on 80 heaven on high and samurai, I'm scared to go <laughs> to go further. I mean it gets hard. That's that's without a doubt. It's gonna get hard. <clears throat> um But hey, only way you'll know is just diving in there, right? It's the only way you'll know. Okay, two minute ad. BRB in two minutes, guys, and then we'll continue the run, alright? So thank you for watching. Two minutes. <clears throat> Eat up some burger, nom nom nom. Let's go. Oh! No! The music! It's bad. Okay. Where's the chest? Okay. Sudden it's too long. That's 
a silver. That's an ogre that's gonna aggro. Oh, you need to drop the chest. Oh, I shall check the chest. Apples. Welcome back from the ad. <clears throat> Yo, it's all good. Definitely do it when you're ready to go. Although, sometimes it's a little tough, Suki. Uh, in the sense that, you know, if you're a little superstitious, it's sometimes hard to start at such a high floor, but other people, it doesn't bother you so much. So, um... Oh, you got it, Suki. I got you, dude. I had someone ask me in YouTube today. I always love it when people ask me about this in YouTube. They go, so on, like, you know, at this specific part of the run, why did you use the three intuitions? <laughs> I love I love when people ask me that question. <laughs> well, you know... Exactly. Because someone said so, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Super secret RNG manipulation. If I use three right at this very moment, I'll guarantee to get a dodo. <clears throat> Don't come any close. Oh, oh gosh. I felt that I I totally hit the button and it didn't go off. That lag sometimes once in a while. Oh man, come on. You know, I'm kind of tempted to use it, but we should be okay here. I'll just be a little careful. Would love a challenge run where you can manipulate all your palms to channel points. Oh, you know, Suki, what we did last year, and it might be something I'll implement this year for sure. We did a charity. Uh, we did two charities. Um, and I think it was in May and July. Exactly that premise. Um, where I, I had a bounty board. It was a literal bounty board. And you can donate X amount of dollars for me to use a specific pomander. So we had something like, um, I think we had something like $70 for like a Magicite, uh, like $60 for Petrify, like $30, $40 for a Strength Steel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it went really well. Like, like the, the whole idea, like we raised on both those charities. For the first one, I think we raised like $3,000, and the second one, we raised $2,000. And we just did one day, that's it. And it was just that, like the whole run. Whatever I get, people can burn off my Pomanders by utilizing cash. Like for me, I consider this content, like, I really consider this content like entertainment, right? So for it to be channel points, it's hard for me to commit to that. Because in essence, like someone can blow all those channel points and then kind of brick the run. And that kind of sucks. Like if, if someone wants to come in here to learn, I mean, you know, someone who just wanted to kind of just be, have a little fun, you kind of ruin that opportunity. But when it came to charity, like, bruh, like, okay, you want to dump like $500 to break my run? Alright, but you know what? $500 to charity. So like, you know, what can you say? It's, it's perfectly fine with me. I don't have any problem with that. Um, so we might definitely be doing, I would want to say guaranteed we have at least one of those this year. Uh, there's been a number of charities that are coming by and, and, and saying hello and, there's one that um, I, re I really had a good uh, communication with, and I'd love to do it again. Um, so, you know, you might see that again. But I think it was a really cool idea to do that. And Meiji did it too. Meiji did a very similar one on her on her end when she did Palace of the Den. And she raised a good amount of money as well. She, she had different bounties, like to step on a trap, to play in first person mode. Um, but I think it was a pretty cool idea to do it. And... Um, but it's just, I, I can't always do it because the thing I noticed when we did it last year 
is I had some, like, I had kind of this, like, similar people uh, donating big money to the charity, and I, I really felt bad about that, you know, if I kept doing charities, like, every month or something like that, so I had to kind of pick and choose, like, people are really kind, but sometimes I'm like, man, like, like, please, like, don't, don't spend so much money on this, so, but yeah, it's been a while, it's been about, a uh, close to about, Nine months since we did it, so I'll probably bring it back in. What am I supposed to do with my 200k channel? I know, I know, I'm really bad when it comes to channel points. I know, but one day something will hit me, inspiration-wise, and then we'll go with it. Charity's always cool to spend, so I don't have much money currently, but I just spend save the animals every month. Hey, you don't you, again. You don't have to feel obligated to do so, you know. Um. But it does make for a good time. Climbing alongside you. You also got no items at 132. Go figure, right? Did we queue up at the same exact time? 500k for an Astro run? Well, actually, that was one of the donation incentives um, in one of the first ones, was to do Astro and Heaven on High again. And I did. I mean, we didn't clear it, but I did do it a handful of times. But. And actually, I still technically have one more incentive that I still haven't done, it's been like a year. Which was to do a Red Mage scoring run in Palace of the Dead. So that's definitely pending. That'll, that'll probably happen this month, more than likely, because I, I had planned for that. This month is really busy. We have like, three sponsorships, we have two collabs. And we're getting them all in this month, because once March hits, man, it is, it is going to be... business. You know? Gonna put on the suit and go 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 heavy on the business, so we're getting everything in this month. Actually, our first um, sponsored stream is coming in next week, and then we're doing it for the next three weeks. I just confirmed, uh, I think I confirmed the three of them. There might be one more, but I didn't hear back from them. And what kind of stinks a little bit, um, well, there's still time for them to get back to me, but the other one, which I actually don't know what game it's for, um, but... I have an idea of what game it's for, but they didn't tell me what game it's for. And I do want to do that sponsorship, but uh, yeah, we'll see if they get back to me. I hope they do. I'm hoping. Because it's actually a game that I was really, really looking forward to playing anyway. But it's all in the month of February, so it works out. Because March, I'm obviously going to be locked down. Can't do anything in March. I'm gonna wait for that, uh, for that to come over here. I just want to make this stupid world a little bit better, you know, I also get one uh, for every... So now I have... <laughs> yeah, you gotta save the rainforests, dude. I love rainforests. I, I was in a rainforest like once or twice, and they are like the best, seriously. I love the atmosphere and the, the whole the vibe of the rainforest. It's so good. Really? Oh, I love the animals? Gotcha. My time to shine! Let's see if there's another undead coming up. Eh, maybe not. Nope. One might have been coming though. Ooh, strength. Is it true that I scripted three resolutes in chests? Did someone say that? Uh, that I haven't heard of yet. If it was mentioned in Discord, unsure. 
the thing that we found out recently though is um it seems like it's a fact. You read that once? Um if it's in Discord, I'll probably gather it. I, I I have not been keeping up with Discord today. I know there's some discussions earlier. But the one that we did find out recently, um that someone mentioned and then it seemed to just like everyone just kind of agreed on it, was how you can't get no knockback on 197 to 199, and you can't get no Magicite on 97 to 99. So, you know, that's a thing. And that actually really helps with some strategies too, when you're planning out your palms the last three floors. But that was kind of neat to see. But it does it does put it in a, in a weird spot for EO, because you can get no knockback and theoretically no Magicite, which is going to probably be replaced with no demi clone. So I wonder if both of those will be disabled, or if they'll just enable them for, for, for yo. I wonder how that'll, that'll pan out, you know. I think I'll still play like super cautious and like not assume that uh, one or the other will not show up. But I'll definitely probably like keep it in, in very... I'll keep it in mind for sure. That's the rage. Ah, uh, dude, the very first boss already. Did you have you seen the very first boss? The very first boss already looks promising. I'm really excited already. I mean, the first boss looks that good, then I can't wait to the next ones. Uh, oh, <laughs> hey, emanating. I saw that. Uh, I saw that award thingy. Do you have the link, by the way? I can permit you. Just let me know if you have the link. I can. I can share it in chat. <laughs> There's no way that... There's no way that, uh... Alright, I'm gonna... So when you have it, type in chat. And then I'll let... I'll permit you. Wait! I gotta permit you! Okay, hold on. Here you go. Now you can post it. Um... Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, just, uh, if you want to. I mean that's a that's a pure popularity contest, dude. We are we are in the very low end of like the very smaller end of a popularity concert a uh, con contest. But uh, hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with it. So if you guys want to go for it, yeah, I'll do my guess. Yo, what's up, Albrich? <coughs> <laughs> hey, I try my best, man. Yeah, you know, we're doing content that, like... Like, what you perceive as a dumb question to me is just, like, a common one, you know, so... From E12 with the static, nice. With the epic, with the epic song. I already forgot what the song sounds like. I already, like, I kind of forgot how that whole fight is, and I watched a lot of it. Kind of just, like, kind of... Uh, deleted out of my brain at this point. It's kind of funny. Ooh, system of. Did you add Whitestone? I... No, I have not. Was that the one from uh, P8? I haven't. That's probably gonna come in when I figure out what the hell I want to do with, with Fire Emblem, but I haven't done that. Yeah, not yet. I usually do it in bulk, so. And Fire Emblem's gonna take me a minute to add in. Because I, I, I think like once I beat the game, then I'll figure it out. We're playing more of it tomorrow, but... but I can't I can't wait to play more tomorrow. I feel like we're going so slow through that game, but I mean, it is your JRPG. I mean, what do you expect? Of course you're gonna go slow through JRPG. Really? Nothing is blocking me to get to across the room. Okay, is this the strength? Bum 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 bum. Make sure you add Fire Emblem Fates Azura song. Fire Emblem Fates Azura? Well, it has to be playing in Engage. So, unless that song is in Engage, then I don't add it in. Yeah, it, it, I I put in songs that of games I played, 
because um, for me, it's about that association to the music, right? It, it brings back a memory, or or I, 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 you know, I can associate something with it. So maybe in the future, I'll keep it in mind. The one I'm sad about right now is when Octopath 2 comes out. I can't play it. I just like legit can't play it um, because I won't have time. And that is a game I'm really, really looking forward to, but I, I can't play it because I just won't beat it in time. EO is so close. But I will play that game. Like, the current plan for my variety is um, we try to finish up Engage before EO. And then once we kind of settle EO, probably like in April, we resume variety on April or something like that. Um, or I can resume it sometime in March so I don't get burnt out on EO. And then we bring in Octopath and start working on Octopath. That's my current plan. Um, yo, what's up, Brookie? 24 hour streams on Wednesday, Saturday. Oh my god, dude. Do you realize how old I am, Wallen? I can't do 24 hour streams. <laughs> I'm so old, man. I have to do a napping stream. I'll do one of those weird ass napping streams. Hey, Jedi, I appreciate that. Okay, I was a little concerned because that Aramon was not moving. Like, I'm not lagging, am I? I want you to be the drop of Hype Trailer. We're not getting a trailer. <laughs> I mean, okay, first, of, first, first and foremost, raging softly thanks to the follow. That's first and foremost. Second most. Um, I'm sure anything that has to resemble a world race hustle hoop is is probably a sore topic for Yoshi B right now. But what I do hope is that the vast majority of the deep dungeon runners will will handle the world race for for Eureka Orthos in in a way that it should be handled. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. That's like my best case. Oh, I want that. That's my best case scenario. So instead of all this drama, it's just like it's just your 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 clean race to race the world first. That's it. So we shall see how it goes. I think I think it is going to be important that whoever whoever the the leading people in the community are that are going to put their time in and put their stuff in. That they will be good examples, and I will. T I will definitely assure you that I will try to be a good example um, for the rest of everyone. So hopefully, uh, you know, we 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 get through the world race and the solo in a positive note. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> no drama, you know, no craziness. Just yay! Someone got world first. Congratulations! I'm proud of you. Because I, I I would think like you're probably not getting any announcement on who got ultimate world first, right? Which has been something that he's that Yoshi P has done for the past couple of, of races. Um But can you imagine that can you imagine this scenario though? And this would be so cool but also kind of like a like a like a little like like a funny moment is if they don't they don't do anything for the ultimate announcement like they don't say who got world first they don't make uh, any they don't make any hype about it but then they make hype about who gets world first for Yurika Orthos and that's going to be pretty funny in my opinion like, i think i'll be i'll be hilarious i don't want to do a freaking hawk dude i guess i'm going to have to um i have full bursts I don't want to fight it the hog. I wait for the moment. The first one is on 99 video. It says like, now we have enough time like 10 minutes, and then SC suddenly puts a 100 boss in. Oh yes, I can't wait for that time. That timeline. But I think they did come out and say that they won't. There won't be any surprises whether you go party or solo. So. Next ultimate make unbeatable first week to spite runners. Uh, bro, that's like a that's like a can of worms when you just sit there, Tro Brent. I think if you do that, you're gonna make people want to do more stuff to it, which is really sad to think about. But that's kind of how it, how the 
the current climate is, which is terrible. <clears throat> it's probably a good chance someone streaming gets EO World first. Do you think so, Hustle? Do you actually think someone streaming will get World first over someone not streaming? I mean, I know, like, it's a little different now, right? Because there's probably some fear of someone, like, not streaming to get kind of in trouble. But, I don't know, I still feel like the person getting world first is probably going to be someone off stream. That's, that's my gut feeling. Because I can understand the advantages of doing so, like, I get it, you know? But... Well... <clears throat> I know Soggy Mimi has put up video, uh, and Norben does a lot of video recording as well, and Fania does too. Like like Norben, Fania, Yusagi, those are like some of the people that we know that are like really the top runners over there, and they put out content for the for the for the stuff, um, you know. And we have you know a couple of them are in the Discord too. They just only speak Japanese, but. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so... Hey, Bella! Thanks for the five months, I appreciate that. But you're not gonna see it on Twitch. What you're gonna see is gonna be... Um, the places you're gonna see it is like YouTube or Nico Nico. You're not gonna see it on Twitch, though. There, there is one JP runner that... Uh, there's at least one JP runner that I know streams on Twitch. And I think that's uh, Miyabi. Miyabi Miyabi, I believe. Because they did summoner. I remember watching the summoner prog in the early days. <clears throat> they, were, they, were, they were putting so much time into it. But I think a lot of the JP runners will be more Nico Nico and uh, YouTube. <clears throat> to be honest, a lot of mods and hacks that help, ra help raiders kind of don't apply to the. No, it doesn't. You're right. You're right. I mean, it's, it's really true. Um. But, you're, but still, like, the thing is that I feel, Frey Fran, I mean, even by that definition, like, I mean, you guys know it, I know it, but if you're gonna go out, and this is an opinion, I mean, I could be wrong, but if you're gonna go out on, like, Reddit and Twitter and be like, Hi, I got world first EO solo! Dude, people are gonna be like, okay, so where's your video? Like, that's the thing they're gonna ask. Like, I'm gonna be like, congratulations, well done, you know, I'm glad you got it. Like, you know, it's on the board, well done. Uh, you know, the public, the public eye is still gonna be sore from the ultimate race. So you can't blame them. Like, they're not wrong in saying that, right? Um. And then on top of that, I mean, even if whatever whatever people might start to feel if they don't see a video, oh, he probably probably did something that he didn't want to see, kind of thing. Um, that's just gonna happen. Like again, whether it's it's substantiated or not, is still gonna be a thing. Which sucks, honestly. It really does suck because there are a lot of people. I would say a vast majority of the deep dungeon runners are like lurkers, like they're quietly just watching, listening, doing their own thing. So for you to feel all of a sudden this pressure that maybe you haven't spoken a word to the community, you haven't spoken a word in any stream, and now all of a sudden, if you wanted to actually go for, you know, an actual attempt at like being the first one to clear, you have to probably record your run. Like that's not a cool feeling, you know? Um, that's true. That, I mean, with speedruns, I I would imagine that's just a, an accepted thing, right, Jar Jar? You can't claim a world record in speedrun if you don't show the video. And it, if it doesn't get verified. Like, that's just, I think, a rule that is just a standing rule. Oh, guess what? I'm no longer world... I'm no longer rank 1 for a stray. Uh, Kinara told me that, I think, yesterday. I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but it, it did kind of be like, Oh, is it time for me to return to stray? Uh, JP BP by a minute. <laughs> God damn it, dude. So I'm no longer a world record holder, and I kind of don't like that. But I don't know. Uh, dude, I don't have time to go back to that game right now. It kind of came in at a really good time when I don't have time.
You did Majora's Mask 130 minutes. Congratulations, Suki. You're a trustworthy source, and I believe you. I feel like if you're serious enough to go for World Quest and anything, you should videotape it. Well, here's the thing, Southerner. I think I think it goes along the lines of why some people are are pretty much satisfied with just having the title and the character, right? They just show a picture. Here's my title. Look at my title. Look at my weapon. They don't need the video. They just need to showcase the title that can be in public display. <clears throat> um, I think Deep Dungeon is a little bit of a different case, though, right? Because the journey is so crazy and so long and so unbelievable. At least, again, that was my original reason for streaming to begin with. Who the hell is gonna believe I got Necromancer without evidence? You know, that's how I that's how I started streaming and recording video myself. Um, but that's not gonna be what everyone else thinks. Like, it's really interesting because <clears throat> when I think about it, right? If I ever do an ultimate, which has always been talked about, I mean, I'm gonna have it on stream probably. I'll, I'd like to record it for my own personal thing. But who the hell cares if, like, who the hell cares about that video, right? Like, I don't get- I don't think anyone is gonna care about me clearing ultimate on- on tape. Like, okay, I got the title, congratulations. That'll probably be enough for people. But, to me, when it comes to Deep Dungeon Solo, I feel like... Because it's such a crazy journey, you'd want the video to be there. So people can be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's kinda cool. At least that's how I view it. It's a little different, it's just different content. Um, Juanchu Jack. Juanchu? Juanchu Jack? Thanks for follow with me. In eight stages, too easy. Hidden, skip, stages, mechanic. Seal? Ooh, that's for the boss. I'm gonna use that right now. Good timing on that one. Hello, Juancho. Welcome in. Uh, video proof must believe my words. I know. Words. Go post it on Reddit. Hey guys! I am now the world record holder. Uh, oh, the exit's here. Okay. Started playing 14 this past week. Oh, welcome to Eorzea. Very fun, just looking for content, folks. Well, you've, you've stumbled upon the weird content. <laughs> uh, a majority of- a majority of gamers uh, Wancho. You're probably gonna find them do right now, actually in today's- in today's directory. You'll probably see a lot of ultimate rating, 8-fan rating, and very difficult content. You'll probably see a lot of savage runs, a lot of different party runs. Very rarely will you come into a stream where they're doing this content, Deep Dungeon, which is basically solo content. It is a solo challenge in an MMO. Um, but... It has a long journey, uh, 200 floors to this specific content. You actually can access this very early. So you're 29, you already have access to Palace of the Dead. It is a side quest, so you have to go and get it. But you can already access Palace of the Dead. 200 floors, takes about 13 to 15 hours to complete. It has a solo title that I'm sitting on, Necromancer. Very, very, uh, very exclusive title. But that's what you're watching, and that's what you're here for, so... But I am happy that you've stumbled upon our little corner of, uh, of the directory, so... Welcome in. Um... Uh, Reddit will haunt me, so nah. Oh, will haunt you? Yeah, they will. I mean, it is Reddit, you know. I love the Netherland play of showing task manager during transitions. Got a good- yeah, it gave me an idea. Like, I feel like maybe I should do that, Southerner, you know? Show Task Manager. Love to see solo stuff? Yeah, you know, 14 doesn't have very many solo stuff currently. But this specific one is probably the best solo challenge in all of 14, hands down. There's a title associated with it, there's a leaderboard associated with it, official leaderboard. Um, which you can see right here, the official leaderboard. 
which is which you know it's nice to have something that they essentially the game sanctions you know um it's good stuff and i've been this content amazingly enough wancho has been around since 2016 i've been doing it since 2016 and you'll find people hopping into here like it's the first time they've ever done it and the first time they've ever discovered it um that's how cool the content is people still look at it right now they're like wow i want to do this one because it looks like a hard challenge and it's really cool in that fashion speaking of solo content i've been trying solo kefka savage now that happy posted the video on it it's pretty fun to do in between did nice let's go yo shout out to haps by the way Good old, good old Mr. Happy. He's gonna get clear. He's gonna clear ultimate soon. We kind of, you know, watching his titles and all that stuff. He's gonna get there soon. Pretty proud of him. Yeah, no problem. Mega noob. It's it's always fun to watch. It's always fun to see new new gamers pop into this game. You know, I love it. Um, what do I want to do here? Okay. Quick kill. That should be good. Two shots here. Three shots here. I just got a new spine and a new PC. Like a literal spine. Oh, is that the surgery that you had, Southerner? I guess you're doing better, yeah. Why no trick first? Um, because the fight will get will get pushed forward. Um, so it's still gonna be better to pull to pull with resolution. So like, you know, we're talking a scripted fight, right, Suki? So if you start with resolution, he has to come at you five seconds later he starts his thing. If I run up to him and I trick Okay, I'll get the damage in, but that timer already starts. By the time I get a resolution, he's already popping his first AoE. And then I get to the add sooner. I get to all his other AoE sooner. So, um... I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. Like, you could pop a Lust if you want to, but since since that strategy is just very straightforward, I don't really have to worry too much about that. Way better, I can walk again. The only pain is my left leg now, instead of the entire body. I mean, it's better than... yeah, that's, that's certainly a lot better. <laughs> Um, speaking of news, Sister Ronko, it's only taken me the entire lifespan of AOR, but I finally got my wife to join in the fun, and that's 14 about a month ago. Hey! Well, welcome in, waifu. I hope she has fun. I'm slowly trying to massage a, a very good friend of mine to get into the game, but they don't have, um... They don't have anything to play on. Like, their laptop is, like, super old. Um, they don't have a console. And, all, and also, they don't have time. But, you know... Maybe maybe like one of these days I can I can get them to, to sneak on in. Um Yeah true. Oh yeah, you can have the ring now. You can have the fancy teleport ring. That's true. And PS5? PS5 is good. Console gamer. I like that. Yo, let's go. Alright, I gotta take a I gotta take an ad break. Um I'm gonna heat up my tea, which I have here. And then uh, we can turn on the uh, hand cam. You guys want to see the hand cam? We'll turn on the hand cam. So I'll do that as well. Uh, actually, let me first set up that camera now. <clears throat> um, okay, one sec. Okay, so let me take a break here so we can push out the ads. And I'll come back in about three minutes. <clears throat> and then we'll continue the run. Thank you for watching, guys. Hang tight. We are going to all the way to 200. At least that's the idea here. So we're going to be here for the next like, four or five hours. So sit back, relax, and let's see how far we get today. So BRB. Fix this.
Okay. I did my timing incorrectly. Should have heated up my tea first and then. <clears throat> but I did it incorrectly. So give me a second. Throw a button. Feels bad. Okay, and start this. <clears throat> Get this going. Omega F's hair. She does have nice hair, you're right. Camera, delete the other one, minimize this. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Where we have the food and then we shall continue. Oh, I don't have the FC buffs on, huh? Zero, hello, how you doing? Alright, shall we continue, boys and girls? <clears throat> I want easier access to my tea, hold on. I'm good. Hey Kaz, how you doing? 24 is down into the next set here. Get my drinks in order over here. Kill the music. Alright, 141. Let's go. Steal. Eh, I lost. Did I DC last night? Nope. We uh, set up the file on Tuesday. So this is a new file. On Sunday we wiped on 191. Uh, not good. So that's what you're kind of referring to. That's not the button I wanted. Every time I hear this music I have PTSD of a tank buster. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the YouTube video. Oh, that was uh, last week. Um, so last week we did a Tuesday run, and I DC'd on 117. And then we went back in on the Thursday, and then it went Thursday-Sunday. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to YouTube Zero, also, thank you for watching my YouTube, I appreciate that. Um, usually what you'll expect, and I, I really try to maintain the schedule. <clears throat> Today's run will show up about a week and two days after uh, it shows up today. So today's a Thursday. You can probably expect this run to show up next Saturday on YouTube. It gives me time to prep it up and to do whatever to it, so that's usually the timing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Koami, hello! Thanks for the 16! I, dude, I can't believe it's 16 months. Koami, you're one person that I really remember almost the first time you popped in here and all that stuff. I can't believe it's 16 months. What the hell, dude? Thank you for the continued support. Hey, I appreciate that. It really means a lot. You got it. Oop! Um, but yeah, that's usually the, like, the cadence I'm going to go to. I'm not going to lie, when EO comes out, it might get a little shaky, um, but I shall try my best to maintain the YouTube stuff to keep it going up there. Certainly you're probably gonna see like maybe more shorts on YouTube once we see them happen. Dude, I'm gonna really try my best to pull out as many YouTube shorts from uh, Eureka Orthos as we can. Um, but you know, we have to wait till we get there, but that's probably something that I will try to push. And I think as of, to, like, as of a few days ago, uh, as of the beginning of, of February, I think I actually can make money off YouTube Shorts now, because that they, they made that happen, so I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> I make money making videos, what what? Yeah. That'll be a thing. Doing Deep Dungeon on Steam Deck has been- has it? Do you have any uh, noticeable latency issues with the button presses, or it's like more or less the same? Okay. 
my coke tank die, I wonder what the boss will do now. Innocent cast tank buster. Feels normal, just tiny screen. Nice, okay. Got it. Mm, T. So curious to see what the aesthetic of the last voice set's gonna be like. I guess it's based on the game where it looked crystal towerish. Well, like, you can even base it off of um, what, like, the tw the twinning looked like, right? The twinning has some kind of shades of what, what you might get to be viewed too. Yeah, I'll be interested as well. Hey Tasmanian, how you doing? Good evening. Oh, I have no items. Oh, I I realized I had no items. Oh, oopsie doopsie. Okay, good to know. A little careful here. Well, it's a good thing I'm coupled with a uh, HP up, so it's like a half, like a half steal kind of. But I do have to be just a little careful. Like I'm gonna hover over the serenity just in case I step on a trap. That's how serious it is. And if I pop an, if I pop um, if I pull a gargoyle, then I gotta be real careful. I was hearing something moving. I had to double check to see if it was a manticore. Because if that ha happens, I have to immediately... ...witching. I'm also curious, Free Fan, what the last one is gonna look like. You know, what's the basement of Crystal Tower gonna look like? That's gonna be. Like, there has to be an end, right? Like, what does the end of Crystal Tower at the bottom look like? I really wonder. wonder. That'd be an interesting, uh, interesting thing. Oh, shit! <laughs> a little scary. Uh, trying to be careful in case there's a trap or something. Can you just walk past any enemy with sneak? Not every enemy. I mean, if it's proximity, I can't. Uh, with the ninja hide, you can you can avoid aggro from sight and sound. <clears throat> but if it's proximity, I can't do that. About to go for floor sixty-one to seventy tonight in heaven on high, uh, and then wait to finish pushing on Saturday. Okay, nice. Wow, it's a lot of a lot of gargoyles. All the captured souls clap you down there. And mom just comes back and he's like, good job, dude. <clears throat> and you're like, wait, what are you doing here? It's like, don't worry about it. Good job. Did we go to the basement of Crystal Town in 20? Um... I think we did. But of course that's a different, that's a different, a different shard. So... You can basically go down the same exact basement, you're gonna get a different result. Because it's a different, it's a different Crystal Tower. He would have another clone. Yeah. Well, you know... Plot twist, Ammon would be a demi-clone. Instead of him being an enemy- okay, you're kind of hurting, so relax. Um... I'm on as a spriggin' all along, always knew it. 
Glad I had a serenity again. Luis Swa is just chilling down there, smoking a pipe. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's up, dude? It's gonna be interesting, I guess. See, okay, here's one thing that I want you guys to backseat me on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a PSA, okay? When it comes to EO, I want you guys to backseat me on the lore of what they say for EO because I'm skipping cutscenes, right? <clears throat> so if any of you actually sits and sit and goes to the cutscenes and actually listens to it, I would not mind any of you telling me like what the lore is. I, like I'd like to find out myself, but look, I'm not gonna have time for it. That's gonna be something I'll do like after we get the clear and I'm, I'm like relaxing and like oh let's just do it on my alt for the for the sh you know shits and giggles. So that's one thing that I might ask you guys to let me know about what the lore is for for uh, Eureka Orthos. <clears throat> I'm almost certain I'll skip through the cutscenes. Like the only time I think I won't is maybe if like my my light party is a little late. Uh, trying to get into the game. Um, when we're trying to set up for uh, <clears throat> the Aether Pull farm. And I'll have time to kill. That's like the only thing I'll think about is a possibility, but yeah, I'll probably be skipping the cutscenes. I am legit the only person who loved Ammon in. Uh, probably. I think a lot of people hated his voice act. Well, no, didn't hate the voice actor, but more like how his voice and his personality was developed, and that's what they hated. I do remember that the actual voice actor, I believe, played 14 for a little bit. And I think he named his Switch name and everything, like... <clears throat> uh, the name of the character and whatnot. So... Yeah, I, I shouldn't say that you hated the voice actor, that's not true. Like, if you hate a voice actor doing a voice acting job, that means he did a really, really good job. He or she did a really, really good job. So... I thought he was a really interesting person. He was really interesting person. Simply, that's fair. I I'm indifferent. Like I I don't I. Didn't, there's no one in the game I really hate or like, like love overly. You know, like they're great characters. I can understand why people dislike or like a certain person, but <clears throat> I'm not really like that deep into the. I'm gonna wait for the Manticore because if I aggro the knight, I'm getting double aggro here. So I'm gonna wait. Did you see the thing from the Land Liberty live stream where the voice actors did Circus Tower and Amon's JP voice filled voice? Oh really? I did not see that. That sounds amazing. Ah, oh, I knew it. I'm gonna aggro. If I get the gargoyle, I'm witching. Because he was just so crazy. He was the only one with the pink Muhammad as a pet. How to win my heart, have a pink Muhammad as a pet. <coughs> Suki's gonna go to a bar one time, and they're gonna meet. They're gonna meet someone with a pink Bahamut, and they're just gonna be like, "Oh my God, can we get married? Don't pull night." You know, I had to. There was a video that Sadie retweeted from JP. Did you guys see it? It was on Twitter. I don't think he put it in the Discord, but basically, um, <laughs> I don't know what job the guy was, but uh, the guy was in rage. He was he was raging. And he was going up like, you know the small, the small square in Palace of the Dead, in the big floors? And you have to go up like the, the four staircases. There was a knight there, so he came up the staircase, he pulled the knight, he ran back, and the moment he was about to smack the knight, the knight did the tank buster and murdered him, and duty failed. <laughs> and that was the end of the run. Instant skull shatter, and it was skull splinter into death. One shot. Holy moly, dude. Yeah, it was like, I'm like, wait, wait, what? Like, I, like that shouldn't really happen. I guess it was a crit or something. It was insane how fast it happened. <laughs> you know, we joke about don't pull knight, but man, you know, maybe you really don't want to pull the knight. Just saying. 
Also, this no item's getting already old, so I'm not liking it. I really think and try hard in this low floor when I don't want to. Oh my god, a gargoyle. If I aggro that gargoyle half HP, I'm gonna start to panic. I be careful here. Um, let me see. Not the best teleport. I think I aggro the second night if I go in. Oh my god, how could you? Well, I can't use it right now. Hello? Gonna turn to use it? No. Choice my what dedication? I barely have channel points. Butchered. Yeah, I do hate your wishes. Yep. You got me. Time for the twit longer. Oh, it's not this way. Damn it! The exit is not this way. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Are you coming this way? You are coming this way. What's over here, knight? Knight and a gargoyle. Twit Longest? Oh, true. Oh, yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. You're moving. You're stopping. <laughs> A whole novel. Released New York, New York, New York Times uh, bestseller. Is that three that you guys use or two? No, it's just two. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All three? You got it. Patrol's coming. Ghost coming. Yes, please. <laughs> like, he could have burned so any, just found an extra one. Truth. Okay, just find another one, forehead. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to post right now. <clears throat> I have to steal running. Kindred got it. Congrats to Kindred. Yay! Congrats to them. Let's go. <laughs> I like that emote. What the hell?
Al Nino. Al Nino, thank you for the follow up. There's another room behind me. Dun, dun, da, da. Miss a live chat clear. And there's a live clear by 20 seconds because I was making dinner, so mip. It's okay, just wait till the next ultimate. Yeah, just wait till the next one. It's, what's the big deal? <laughs> Congrats to them, let's go. Nice. Two years and what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just about two years, yeah. <laughs> What's the big deal? I can't wait, you know. Um I mean look, Ultimate Raiders had a had a good had a good reason. Um back before uh back before DSR released. I remember there was this like portion on Twitter during the um, during when this was prior to Endwalker, and it was the announcement that they were pushing up or they were pushing um, the the fourth ultimate into Endwalker instead of into into 5.5 for Shadowbringers, and I remember reading all the salty raiders about oh man you know it's been so long since an ultimate. You know, what are we gonna do? Content drought. And then I'm like, I'm like sitting here, and I'm like, man, it's been like a thousand and like one thousand three hundred days since the last deep dungeon. <laughs> like, like, come on, get in the back of the line, guys. And it's actually been now since Heaven on High. I did the, I did the, um, the numbers earlier. It's been a thousand six hundred and seven days since Heaven on High. We've been waiting a long time, so I can't wait to do once the once EO releases. I'm gonna be like one thousand seven hundred days later, a new Deep Dungeon shows up. <laughs> Just wait, yeah. I've been waiting for so long. Have a little patience. Nirvana Unreal. Wait for um. Uh. Wait for, uh... Innocence Unreal. <laughs> Favorite time of all time is so when I find my boy again. How close are we to that? Like, three expansions away or something? Or uh, three expansions, three patches away or something? Or maybe they just skipped them, I don't know. I mean, they skipped over Moggle, the, the, Moog, the Moogle. Unless they're gonna bring it back. I'm sure people were really disappointed to for them to skip over the Moogle on the wheel. This Sephiroth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually almost wanted to do Sephiroth, but then... But then I didn't. Because there was like the one of the only other extremes I actually did on content. But I don't really care about the rewards over there, so I don't really care. My favorite battle theme. Oh yeah, I mean, just like Titan Unreal was a pain in the ass, and those two are like very similar, which which was fun in its own sense, but you know, it kind of gets a little old, like not clearing after a while. This is some of what gets un Unreal so whack. I think it's like popular opinion, but also it's in a certain order. So I waited 22 years for Anima to be another major in an another major FF game, only for it to be a normal dungeon boss in a dungeon that wasn't in roulette. Yeah, how does that feel? How do you feel about that, Southerner? Where's that chest? Oh, there it is. Oh, chest. I was big sad. Bismarck Unreal. Yeah, that fight was not too... Not too crazy. Okay, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish there.
Yeah. Hey, at least you can get him as a minion. Or get her as a minion. Mr. Derriban! Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, I need that. Back it up, back it up. God damn it. Just try to do it. It's super fun. I did a little bit of it yesterday. It was really good. <coughs> they have a live mode, like you, you have like a streamer mode almost. It's kinda cool. <coughs> Every time I play 13 music, I'm tempted to revisit. Uh I'm in the same boat, Zanfell. Same boat. Because I haven't finished 13-3, and I kind of wish I, I did, but, yeah, I, uh, time is not my friend. Exum has a wall trap in the back. I'll get left to dodge it. You got it, I'll go to the right. <laughs> it's a good thing I went to the right. Oh. God damn it there, man. You would have ended my run. How could you? Yeah, I don't know if you guys will see it on stream out of me. Um, it might be a little bit of like an off-stream guilty pleasure kind of thing. But I know it has two-player, it has some like, some co-op stuff, so... You know, I might entertain the idea of doing like a two-man, uh, or multiplayer kind of thing with that one, but I'm definitely gonna be playing that off-stream, like, you know, if, I, if I'm in the mood. I'm still kind of on the fence if I'm getting it on Switch or PlayStation or both. Because having it on Switch would be really nice. Like, on trips and stuff. But if I'm streaming it, I'd rather streaming on PlayStation. So... <clears throat> kind of a first world problem. Maybe I just get it on both, I don't know. It's okay, Darabon. I forgive you, dude. The problem with liking JRPGs is that you need to set a time to time. Yes. That's always a little bit of the struggle. Uh, when I pick a JRPG for stream jonks. Because right now we're going through Fire Emblem Engage. And Octopath is looming. But I can't play Octopath. Until like, April. Because I won't have time. Like a week later it's Deep Dungeon. So it kind of sucks, but that is how it is, right? But, um, yeah, I, I, man, Octopath was like the final game that I was looking forward to. So, like, even back, even back by the time, if you believe this or not, back when, like, Elden Ring came out, or a little bit after that, I had already determined that I was gonna play Crisis Core, whatever Crisis Core was announced, Crisis Core, into, into Fire Emblem, into Octopath, into Theater Rhythm. You know, like, those games I had already determined, like, we're here now, but I didn't have a game after Octopath. Like, after Octopath, I don't know what I'd be waiting for to release outside of, like, uh, well, the obvious would be 16, but 16's in Ju uh, what, June, right? Um, but after that, like, I mean, it led into Deep Dungeon, to be fair. But those are the games on there, and now it's just like, huh, I wonder what game I'm gonna wait for next now, you know? I don't know. Maybe it becomes the era where I play games that I, I'd like to play on stream that I hadn't had the opportunity to do so, like older games that I'd like to beat. Last Remnant, right? Playing right now, that'd be nice to do on stream so you guys can actually see that game. Maybe. And I do want to retain the variety stream, it's just... 
It was just a little fortunate that we always had a new game to play at, uh, almost at all times. <clears throat> Have I played- okay, I can do Undertale. I have not played Undertale, Suki. That game looks amazing, but I shot myself on the foot because I, um... I watched the Undertale speedruns, like, so many times. So I kind of ruined that game for me, in a way. Like, it's hard for me to enjoy that game because I, like, watched everything about it. But the one I would- I would entertain would be Deltarune, which I think is not complete yet, right? Deltarune is still in development. So Deltarune could be one I could play. That's the wrong button. Are you kidding me? I mean, all the JRPGs I'd watch because they have their own charm to them. Legend Dragoon. One I did want to play on stream is to do the Dragon Quest XI. <clears throat> um, the Definitive Edition or whatever it's called. The one that got released. I, I want to do that one. I think Deltarune is only up to chapter 2 or something. But I play No, I didn't play Vagrant Story. Two chapters out of seven for Del- Out of seven?! Okay, well that'll probably be a future a future thing. I'll make sure to try not to look up anything for Delta Rune and play that like fresh when it comes out, like from beginning to end. I did play chapter one. Um because they first came out and like and that was again, like you like you said, like you know, Undertale is there and I knew about Undertale, I already watched stuff with it. And so I'm like, okay, well, I knew Undertale was good, let's try Delta Rune. Um and I had a good time with that first chapter, but of course, you know, it's just the first chapter. <clears throat> so, I have not- I know that game, I never got to it. I heard a lot of good things about that game, I never got to it. Do I have a treasure room? Oh, there's a treasure room. Nino, Nino Kuni 2 is really fun. Hey Minister Cookie, how you doing? Persona right here. So much for taking my strength and steel to the boss. I might actually affluent so I can probably pull one back again. I'm out of steel. Okay, let me do an affluence now. Damn it! I should have just eaten the AoE.
Also cool variety game would be something like Hollow Knight Ori games. Oh yeah, people always suggest ho uh, Hollow Knight. Both Neo Kunis are waiting on my shelf to be played. Too many games, too little time. Mm -hmm. You cleared Warrior! Minister Cookie! Nice score. I don't know what French lady said, but it sounds like a pretty big number. Yo, congratulations. Is that... Well done. Does, uh... That is correct, Zanfell? It'll work for exactly what you said. Hey, all wall. Thanks for gifting a sub to Minister Cookie. Hollow Knight's a bad game for me because I like to try and do everything in games, and some fights are just uh, brutal. It's a fun speedrun game. I got around playing Chrono Trigger. It's been a blast so far. I heard Chrono Trigger is one of those classic games that just that like a lot of people like Darabam, for sure. Before you pull the boss, please wait. I want to confuse YouTube watchers and make them throw an intuition. Oh, <laughs> Alright. We can do it during the fight. Just okay, I answered that. Should work on it should work on procs. Then it will be really broken. Ninja would be like would propel itself to like the top of a lot of lists. Because you can just bypass every single treasure room. Well, well, I mean, I don't, t I don't just drop it on the spot, you know. <laughs> like I, I try to make sure I time it in a very good spot. So, also, you have to accommodate for stream delay too. You have to accommodate for stream delay. But I do, I try to time it best as best I can. Hello? Why the hell was I out of range of that thing? Where we go. Okay, I got a steal, which is good. If I get a strength, we're good to go. Tuition. There's a wave keeper coming. There's a lot of chests here, holy moly. Just give me a strength and I'm good to go. Uh... Got my affluence back. I'll do the fortune. I really would like to get the strength because that would really help me out. <clears throat> so I'm gonna work for it. This isn't annoying at all. Steel is up there. <clears throat> I'm gonna get kicked out. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, Steel's over there in that right corner. I checked this one. This is Serenity. I didn't check the other one that's here, and that's the exit. <clears throat> and the Persona's blocking me, so I gotta pull that anyway. There is a chest. Oh, well. <laughs> Dude, this everything is just like on top of each other. Holy moly.
Let me check this chest first. Then I need to check the one by the exit. Uh. Oh, I don't have steel on. I have raise. I have a raising though, but I don't have steel on right now. <clears throat> I can finally check this chest. Twelve hours later. What do I need? Oh, are you kidding me? God damn it. My daggers went haywire. It's a good thing I have I have so much time. Like we have way too much time, so it's fine. It's just, this is like a really annoying floor. Like, if this was Astra, I'd be pulling my hair out with like this situation. Like, I got here with so much time, I burned all my time because of the shenanigans. Alright, now, can I finally check this chest to see if it's a uh, freaking st uh, strength? No, it's even worse. Wait, do I have a. Um, witching? No. an imp. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Come on. Why has it be on top of me? Literally could be anywhere else on the map. You have to be on top of me. Jesus Christ. Every freaking time, man. I'm never getting off this floor. The toilet at my workplace won't flush? Hope you didn't take a crapper in there. Time safe for the next floor, clearly. <coughs> Came in at a good- what's up, teammate? Alright, 12 years later. May as well kill these guys. Had too much Taco Bell. Damn. Well, <clears throat> at least they enjoyed it for the moment, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna. Ch uh. You know what, dude? Seriously, I'm. I'm already committed to this floor. I'm just gonna go check the last room to see if I get the strength that I've been looking for. I have a steel already. It's just I'm looking for a strength. So I can not have to worry about it, uh, so I can keep it around with me. That's okay. That's pretty much what I predicted to happen. You been playing Persona 5? Well, I'll see you in six months. <laughs> when you finish the game. I hope you're having a good time. Is this the strength I'm looking for? Nope. Eh, that's right. I got the steel at least. At least it was worth a try. Incoming... So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna hide, right? And then it's gonna shoot at me. And then I'm gonna aggro the Gravekeeper because I can't run out of the AoE. Nope, still. Well, almost. Almost. We are now at a standstill. Okay. Are you kidding me? 
last second in aggros? You're 20 hours in? Okay, I'll see you in 4 months instead of 6 months. Got it. Alright. Do we finally get off this floor? 16 minutes later. Depends on what these guys decide to do. Alright. Could be worse. Alright, could be worse. We did. As an old- you had to get now to moat? Fair. What's up Magnus, by the way? Were these trying to make use of the fortune? Yes, exactly. Seems like it'd be a fun replay on Stream Deck. Sounds like a good good game on the Steam Deck for sure. that has an inkling to do with Persona as I know it is a personal ass kickings I received from Joker and Smash. Oh you're Narnia! Why are you Narnia dude? Six, 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 six. Oh yeah, I gotta do that intuition, huh? Nailed it. Oh, I saw- did you see that? That was a very clear lag on the mudra right there. I hit the button? And it, it was- it like double recast it because I couldn't hit it again. Okay, so I saw that one clear as day. That was as clear as I've seen it all the whole time. <laughs> Interesting on that one. Oh, my internet is going bad. I see it. Alright, I gotta be careful. My bitrate's getting lower. That's me. I gotta be a little careful. My bit rate's low. <clears throat> okay, so that's me then. That wasn't the mudras. <laughs> Got it. Understood. Be a little careful for now. I have cold weather coming in. So that could be a thing. We shall see. It's kind of coming back a little bit. It is- that is my bitrate. My bitrate is lower. Kind of the old days of me having bad bitrate. Internet tubes frozen. Yeah, right. Well, as long as we make it through this fight, question mark. We shall see.
What did you just share in chat? Hey Kai, how you doing? Oh, he did song for me? Thanks, man. Always looking out for me. I think the bitrate's back. It's back to 5k at least, so... Let me just get out of here first. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, cool. Uh, bitrate's back to normal. Kind of. It's at 4k right now. It definitely dipped. So I'm gonna hang a little bit here. Let me catch up in chat for a little bit. Um... Yeah, once you once I saw you guys saying something and I looked over, I was just full focus because I thought I saw that mudra lag, but it was like, oh no, actually it's me lagging, so of course I'm gonna have mudra lag. Um Okay. Okay. I was wondering why I was pausing. Mm, nice and crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Uh how do you beat 180 as ninja? Uh you blow him up with trick attack. If you wanna stay around uh, Liu, we'll be there in about maybe three hours. So if you want to come back or hang around for that, I'll, I'll show you. We also have the VOD from uh, last week too. Mm, I'm a mess. Drop side because Savage rating made me unhappy, so I'm just trying to relax a bit. Okay, you know I I I've seen and I've had I've had friends, Kai. Um, <laughs> I I don't know if the song is gonna trigger YouTube. That's the only problem, JC and so. Um. I've had friends, Kai, who have who have been dropped out of statics, who left statics, so on and so forth. Um, and I know that initial that initial like you know uh, kind of news dropping kind of hits a little bit, but hey, <clears throat> you know you get through it. And uh, luckily, you know we're here, and uh, we don't have statics because I don't know what a static is. So you know we're still doing our thing over here. So hopefully that gives you a little comfort. Uh, when you see Maz not doing what you expect. Yeah. Can you do the 140 with Pox? Or do you have to wait 7 minutes? Um, it's gonna be a little slower, Hasahoof. But you can totally do it. I mean, you know why? You know what's one reason why? It's because of the 30 second potion also that helps a lot. But I would recommend stealing. Uh, so like, if you're gonna debate on whether you go steal, no steal, I probably would recommend to steal. But it depends on the job. If you're a tank, or a healer, you can you can you can open up with regen and healing, so it's fine. But a a, a DPS probably wants a, a steal at that point. Like I can do a, a no steal resolution on DPS if all the if all the things are going right and I'm confident with doing a good rotation. But you know, I'm gonna copy paste this. Apologies if we saw it already. I did not see it. How does Ninja compare to other melee and DD dungeon? What are strengths and weaknesses? Um. I mean, Ninja's mobility is sick. Its output damage, like every pull, is ridiculous because your big damage, Zanfell, is your Mudras. It's your Ninjutsu. And then you can reset it with Hide. So literally every pull on the higher floors, you'll have a full burst, which is not something that a lot of other jobs can do. Like Samurai builds the burst. Reaper is kind of reliant on gauge, so you can so you have to kind of manipulate a little bit. But that's pretty flexible because you can just sit like 50 plus instead of like empty out the tank so you can have an opening burst um and i think they're bursts every 30 seconds so it's really nice um and and dragoon's nice too monk is just tough because of the the whole uh face pulling thing but ninja feels like a pseudo ranged job um because a lot of your damage is mobile which also helps into survival and then on top of that you have sakuchi which is great for survival as well and movement and then you also have the fact that you have fleet of foot with uh, fleet footed, which gives you just additional movement speed uh, permanently. So you're just navigating through forests faster. Um, if it wasn't for Reaper's raw damage, Xanfell, which is unrivaled, especially in Palace, Ninja would be top melee. Period. It, it was top melee for me in all of Shadowbringers until Reaper showed up. And Reaper to me is top, but Ninja is very much close to second. And then the other three are like kind of just fighting for third place at that point. I'll end up pogging a bit more, so I'll be ready for EO coming out soon. You go get it, Kai. 
uh, Audrey Fox said I'm Ash shouldn't have time. I want to save the seal for the next set. Yeah, like like Astro is probably fine in my opinion, Hustle Hoof, especially because you get boosted damage with the cards and um, the other thing. But I mean, you do want to strength no matter what. Um, the amount of content in fourteen is so good, but so bad. I bought it again on PC and have three level ninety jobs and lost on where to go from here. Been a good, been a good while since I played. Come to Deep Dungeon. We're getting ready for Deep Dungeon, Jabated. Uh, if you kill the little guys with the res, you can save a strength. Yes. Oh, the, yeah, that's the panda backup strategy. Um, does Ninja find Godfather easier or harder than Reaper? Harder. Because Reaper has the shield that you can line up every tank buster. And that's why it makes it a little comfy. Um, Ninja, I mean, you have mobility. But it won't feel too much different than the other melee. Um, so... Definitely harder than than Reaper. And you only and your Sakuchi is only sixty seconds, so you don't get much out of it for kiting. Um, I mean it, it's good for kiting, but you only get it for like every other tank buster. Uh, though I'm guilty of using less than one forty and on accidents, and it works pretty well with a ten percent extra damage. That's fair. When does Deep Dungeon release? So we've narrowed it down, um, based on historical uh, patch cycles. We've narrowed it down to the week of March 6th to the week of March 13th. No announcement yet, but there hasn't also been any announcement of like delays or anything. So if we're basing it off what happened with 6.15 and 6.25, you're looking at March 6th, the week of March 6th, the week of March 13th. So about a month away. It's very soon. Yep. Yeah. Very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Caught up with chat. Also, you guys gave me an opportunity for my internet to... Kind of calm down. Looks like it's back to normal. I'm hitting at 6k uh, bitrate. So um, that that was 100% me this time, not the game. Sometimes, you know, the game is getting a little weird. No, that is me. Um, so no worries on anyone doing runs right now. But yeah, that was 100% me. Um, okay, so let me trigger an ad. I'll push out a two-minute ad here, and then we shall continue into the run. So BRB in two minutes, and then uh, we'll get started on to the next set. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, Kona. Well, you don't get to see an ad, so I can talk with you. Uh, it's going well. Thank you for asking. Hope you're going well, too. Um, no one look. I'm using my mouse. Everyone look away. So, um, you know. I have to set up my stream titles so I have to use the mouse. Okay. Let's so re-up the food. Um nom nom nom. Uh, need to get to work on doing Heaven on High before EO. Would be nice to beat it, but not the end of the world. Not No. It's, not, it's definitely not the end of the world. It's okay. It's gonna be there when you get back. So, alrighty. One fifty one. Time for the pretty floors. Got it. Okay, you gotta run a lateral for this thing. I can't wait to see these floors. I'll kill the race to prevent me from getting there. Do it. They deserve to die again. I wish Various Daylight was a better game because the music's pretty good, but that's where this song's from, Various Daylight. But I'm not like I'm gonna be honest, I can't recommend that game. It's it's okay, but it's okay. It it was originally a mobile game on Apple, so like if you get it for that, it makes sense. But to get it on like the Switch, it, I don't think it's. Just, like, you're better off just playing something else. But the music's good. Yeah, it's tough for me to recommend that game. Welcome back to the ad, guys. Thanks for watching, I'd appreciate it. Trying my best to put the ads in at the best pots. Um, so you don't miss too much action. How's Nin? 
gonna try after throwing. I love Ninja. Ninja still maintains for me uh, one of the most fun jobs I played in Deep Dungeon, in all of Deep Dungeon. Now, you know, its capability of clearing is not the top for me. There are other jobs that I would put above Ninja. But if you're talking about entertainment, fun, enjoyment, you know, like, what it is capable of, Ninja is certainly the top of that list for me. It's just, what you can do on this job is just... It's so flashy! I like it. It, like, I've always, I've always said ever since Shadowbringer change of Ninja... Ninja almost feels like it's designed for Deep Dungeon. Solo. That's what it feels like. You know, if you were to design a job to get the- to, to retain a challenge uh, of doing the solo at a high difficulty yet giving you the tools to succeed, that's Ninja in a nutshell. The hairstyle reminds me of Bravery Default. Yeah, it's very similar to that vibe of Bravery Default. That's kind of one thing that they kind of advertise it as. Um, but... But I wouldn't try some... I wouldn't try without some sustaining to drain. Yeah. Well, at least the sustainings are a lot less now, right? Because it's 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 way more mitigated with uh, how much you need to use nowadays. Is that a custom print mount pad? It is! Actually, um, I don't know if my code still works. I haven't talked to the people from Epic Desks for like a year. <laughs> um, but it was from a company called Epic Desk, and I, I think we have the... the um, the command exclamation point epic desk and they do make custom they have also artistic ones that you can get to as well but yeah we did a we did a short collab with them they were really nice people but i couldn't really sell desk pads like no one really wanted to buy any so i kind of felt bad but you know I, I can't force you guys to just randomly buy shit but hey if it's something that you want then it, it is there the one we had a lot of success with was the the Valari pillow a lot of people thought that was kind of cool. I think like four people bought them, and I haven't really hard, like, kind of pushed that out because, you know, our crowd is like a mix of JP and NA and EU, and they only sell to NA right now. So it's kind of it's kind of awkward for me to heavy push that product when I can't even sell it to like everyone. But they're gonna get there soon because it's a brand new product. But it is a really good product. I use that pillow when I play uh, variety games. Most fun job to watch for sure. Yeah, what you can do with it is just great. I would have thought that Blue Mage would have been designed specifically for Dungeon before they released it. I thought so too. I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of had that idea too, but yeah, we have, I don't know if that's gonna happen. 140 boss actually got my heart pounding just a little bit. Uh, it's sad to go if you mess it up. I've died to it before. I have died to it before as well. I died to it on Red Mage, but that was when I was doing a no sustaining potion thing, so. Did I ever tell you the funniest thing I learned about ha from having merch? From having merch? I don't think you told me, no. What's the funniest thing, Mr. Magnus? You know, I'm curious. Do I miss Mudras being OCD like I do? Um, interesting question. I want to say probably not. I think knowing that there are people out there who had an advantage because they had better ping probably makes it feel kind of icky a little bit because my ping's not great. Like I don't have the best ping. Um, I have a I have a respectable, but I'm not sitting at the best ping. So just having this kind of more universal that everyone kind of more or less has the same playstyle kind of is nice. Uh, most sales were easily on beach towels, which I totally designed as a joke. Apparently a large black towel is super appealing. Interesting. Yeah, like for now on my channel, because we've been kind of, you know, popping around sponsors and companies and stuff, Magnus. I think the one that probably got the most traction was the coffee, which, like, that kind of was okay, but the company was, like, really hard to communicate with. Um, and then the pillows have actually been pretty good. Like, a lot of people have been kind of looking into the pillows and pretty excited about it, so... Your coffee? Yeah, we had a coffee sponsorship. Uh, we had a partnership, rather, but... We had, like, a, like a one-month thingy. They were supposed to, like, renew it, and they, like, never got back to me. 
And I asked them a question, and like the last thing that left off was like, okay, I'll talk to my manager, and then I never heard from them ever again. So, yeah, it was just kind of, it just didn't feel too good. I mean, they were a great company, like the, the coffee was actually really good. Um, but I might open the door, there was another coffee company that contacted me, but I could only have one at a time. So, which is fair. I mean, you can't have two at a time. But I might recontact them. Maybe they want to go back into it. I do tea, not coffee, but a good filler is always a good time. Yeah. Just lost a run on 178 Machinist to a Witching not going off. Oh no, delayed Witching. Yeah, like, you know, with the Palm Soul Char, like, you gotta almost predict the future a little bit. That's what kind of makes it tough sometimes. But it's okay, you got it, man. It happens. You got this, dude. Is by far my favorite coffee you can get in the stores around here. Cafe Bustello. Interesting. Never heard of them. Is Max or Super Potions best for Heaven on High? Uh, Super Potions is by far better than Heaven on High because of the higher HP. However, Jonks, Hyper Potions would be the, the most superior. Like, in general, Hyper Potions will be superior. Like, they basically are just a better super potion hyper potions are. We'll get a lot of them soon, but you know. Machinist is very strong. Uh the joke is is I am 100 percent a goth dude. Involved in the goth industrial music scene, all that jazz. Having a beach towel just made me chuckle and then I sold a bunch. Maybe that's what I should have. I'm gonna keep that in mind, dude. What if I take your idea? Is that okay? I'll just have a black beach towel. Bruh, I'm not out of here yet. I have had to kill everything on the floor to get out of here. What in the world? Everything that is alive had to die. No joke. Except maybe that one deep eye. Have the black... Mage, POTD, Beach Shells. Alright, I'll keep- I'll try to keep remember it. I have a bad memory, but I'll try to remember it. Okay, finally out of this floor. Mine will be blue. I mean, what I would have would be blue, but I mean, what you guys want, you know, that's a different story altogether. But of course we'll try to sell a blue one, that's for sure. Angry piano. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, Angie Piano. You ran the dungeons a lot of times. What are you looking for, gear? I was trying to not use a potion. Instead I used all my cooldowns. I think I did that one more than a few times for Anima. Oh, okay. My friend and I never knew Alexander was the best way to farm light. So we did that for- Oh, gotcha, okay. Okay, that's a fair. That's fair. Taking it.
So they change Chloe's journal to say deep dungeon. Wait. Yes! Ellie noticed that Trobant. Randomly, I think that happened with the 6.3 patch, that instead of it saying POTD Heaven on High, it now says Deep Dungeon. You're right. Good catch. Okay, Shanti's over there. That's the exit. No chest here, so I'm going this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore these, because I gotta pull, like, up puddings and everything. God damn it. Uh, do I have witching? I do. Do I have witching here? I do not. Okay, witching. Imp. I had another mimic somewhere. Oh, are you putting giving me a spot to get out of here? Really? Oh, how nice of you. I think I do have... Nice. That was very nice of them. I was 100% sure I'd have to pull at least one of them. Bum, bum, rage. <laughs> yes, I know this game very well. Of course it's a rage because it's a freaking no no knockback. Why would it not be a rage? Dumb sometimes. I mean I'm tempted to use the serenity. Is Boja so popular? Um, I think so. I think there's still a lot of people who do. I mean, that's Boja was the is the place to level 71 to 80. So, it's a go-to place for that stuff. I remember spamming that to level Sage and Gunbreaker, but like Sage to 80. I remember doing that Sage to 80. That was annoying as hell, but it was the best place to do it. So, what can you do? Thanks, Mokaz. I'll get rid of the box. I can I can predict a lot of no items coming to the future, so I may as well do that now. Is it hard to grind? Is it hard to solo grind? I wouldn't necessarily say so because it does scale to the amount of people in there, so you can definitely level in Boja pretty well. You might get annoying to do some of the bosses like by yourself, but. Shame to waste of rage, but Serenity is more important than keep. Absolutely. Um, it's it's also because of this this set. Um the higher chance of me getting debuffs is just very high, but we're not really straining for time. Like if that was, if I was on Astro, I would highly consider doing it. Highly consider doing it on Astro. Um, but on a on a ninja like ninja like this, it's not really worth it. Especially because no items destroys me. Um, whereas it wouldn't destroy other jobs. Hey Junie, thanks for the June. June oh, thanks for the uh I appreciate the uh the sub. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Okay, 
Got the successful landmine. Everyone has relics to grind? That's true. Tuition. Hey June, hope you're having a great day and evening. I have I had a fantastic day, thank you for asking. Get my wishing back. Ew. Eureka I know is very active because a lot of people do still do Blood Destiny Arsenal on a daily basis. Like they have very coordinated groups for that, which is so cool to see. Well they add new area like Boja and Eureka with this relic. The signs point to a no. They haven't talked about that. Um, I think what they're planning to do though for the relic is to bring it back to like... Didn't they say it's gonna be similar to like ARR type for the relic? Where you have to do like dungeons and like book stuff and everything. So you're not getting a Boja-like scenario, you're getting um, just return to old dungeon kind of thing. Which recycles the content, it keeps the game alive. Like, there's a lot of good things for that to happen. Um, but I think that's what they're deciding to do for the Relic. Not playing and adding another Boja for the Relic, yeah. I just hope we don't have re retread of Heaven. Um, I think it's closer to ARR. Uh, I don't have anything for abilities. Ugh. Gonna have to sit on the fox. Coco for life, thanks for the follow up, man. I'm gonna have to sit on this fox. I have a lot of time, so it's okay, but it's gonna be really annoying. They said they're not planning on it. Uh, for sure, they'll have to make one source of relic mats. Um, not a main source, if anything. It'll be a source, but not a main source. Um. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna wait for my HP to come back to full before I touch this chest. I watched the videos on YouTube, was wondering if you had a guide for Machinist. And Heaven on High! Um, I I don't know if I did a live tutorial for Heaven on High and Machinist. I mean, I have Machinist POBs. But, um... My live tutorials are more on tanks for that, but... I have POBs on YouTube for Machinist. I've done a handful of them. So hopefully that will be a good a good enough one for you to, to dissect into, but yeah, not like a straight guy like the one that exists for Pals the Dead, I apologize. When is an SD dungeon? So there is no confirmed date. Um, but the current prediction is the week of March 6th or the week of March 13th. Um, that is based on the timing schedule of the previous patch cycles. Because it is in 6.35, um, there seems there doesn't seem to be any reason why it's going to be delayed. Meaning the the 6.35 patch, there doesn't seem to be any reason why it's delayed. So you're looking between one of those two dates. Uh, I imagine we're probably gonna hear it mid February, but yeah. What debuffs are on are you said playable ninja? This one. This is stupid. <laughs> and uh, no items would be dumb as well because it's gonna be tricky on no items for melee in general, especially if I have Pox on because I can't heal myself, so pretty much no items and no abilities are like the worst of them. I can get through HP down, although I prefer not to. Um, yeah, those two. Is it better to run tanks than Machinists? Not necessarily. Um, what I will say about when it comes to tanks, um, it's that 
the tanks from 60 to 70 Coco are very much improved in terms of their kit. And that's one reason why it, it became popular for a lot of people. Um, they do better damage, the rotation's better fleshed out, the enemies hit harder, so it, it helps out tanks a little bit to be on a tank. But if you're really good on Machinus and you like the Machinus run, Machinus plays basically identical to Pals of the Dead. The only, the only like, difference is that the rooms are not as spacious like you see here, where we have so much room and so much vision. But you can still pull off. Like, I had a great time with Machinist. Um, and I think Machinist is a little underrated in Heaven on High. And it's mainly, again, just because the tanks are so popular. Um, so that's really the only main reason. But if you're, if you're like, I really like Machinist, I had such a good time in Machinist, take it into Heaven on High. And I think you'll be able to have a good time with it. Um, so, yeah, you're losing absolutely nothing in Machinist. Actually, Sunday, I had promised on, on, on the previous stream we will do Black Mage, Heaven on High. So look forward to that on Sunday. Um, someone wanted to see some, some Black Mage, I'm like, okay. I'm like, a free, I'm like a free agent when it comes to Heaven on High, so we're doing that. But it might be the last time you see me in Heaven on High until like, a week before Eureka Orthos. Just a heads up, because we got collabs and everything coming up, so... Do I still get points for the kill? I think it registers for a kill, yeah. Uh, Scurvy Squire things to follow. No problem, Coco for life. And again, I do have POVs with Machinists. They're not as, um, they're not as, like, catered to ex explanation. But at least you get to see the run. So if that will help you out, just go ahead and check it. Machinists have it on high. Um, and yeah, so. But if you have any other questions, Coco, I, 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 I do do this anytime someone new comes along. Um, if you want to have access to our Discord, which is full of Deep Dungeon Runners, and I'm in there, obviously, uh, because it's my Discord, and you have questions off stream, or you want to pick the brains of people, or you want to talk about a specific floor set, come on over. That's for everyone, by the way. Anyone wants to hop into that Discord. Um, and we're getting ready for Eureka. Um, we're going to be kind of uh, dressing up the Discord to be ready for Eureka Orthos to make it a good place for you guys, so heads up on that one. But I would like to think that if you want to solo a deep dungeon, that Discord, our Discord, is going to be the best place on the in the world for that information. I can't imagine any other place getting information better than we will. So, if that's your interest, then come on over to that Discord. Okay, I'm gonna pull the uh, patrol. Fantastic. Enjoy your stay. We have an FAQ channel in there, so it might handle a couple things, but. I think you, you've already, you know, it seems like you've already dipped your toes into Deep Dungeon and you know your thing, but... The Q&A forums, I think, is going pretty well. Um, you know, we were experimenting that with a little bit, but it seems like people are taking to it. And anytime someone posts a question, people get all over it and answer questions. I think it's great. Just don't clean otherwise, hell yeah. Are you gonna do a Marauder run? The the class runs are really on the back burner for me, one super great guy. Um, one of the main reasons why is just I have so much other things to do with other jobs. Like, people want to see specific jobs, I want to do more guide stuff, I have some, like, uh, challenge things I want to do. So it's like super, super back burner for me to think about doing a class um, attempt. It's not, it's not impossible. But you're probably not going to see it anytime soon, and certainly not before you eat Orthos. It's just not on my priority. Have I cleared on every job? I have cleared on every single job. Yes, all 19 are all cleared. Mm -hmm. We finished Palace of the Dead in December, and I finished uh, Heaven on High in, in 2001, I believe. 2021. In July or or August, somewhere around there. Yeah, I'm very proud about that. <laughs> Astro took six months, dude. Basically, once a week on doing Astro, six months to clear uh, on Astro, but it was a uh, one hell of a challenge. You look like car bowling. Isn't that uh, is that Spopies or no? 2001. Yeah, I went back in time, dude. Holy yeah. Oh yeah. 
Maybe 2001 this game was alive, but not this game 14, but the song that's playing, Mobius. Probably not though. I don't remember when Mobius was back was around. No, don't DMCA me. How could you? We need to keep the we need to keep those people out of our stream. I don't want to get DMCA, dude. Clearing out the original Tactics Ogre, Palace of Death. Oh, that's right. I still gotta play Tactics Ogre. I forgot about that game. Oh man. Uh, Octopath is first. I gotta do Octopath first, and then maybe we go to Tactics Ogre. I feel EW Black Mage should be pretty good in Heaven on High though. Uh, I'm looking forward to what. Oh, I, I'm gonna be taking Black Mage and EO pretty pretty fast. Like it's gonna be like the third job I take in, maybe. Saw the PC of uh, Tactics Ogre. I didn't see the PC remake. I have the um the PlayStation though, but I didn't see the PC. You know. Uh, Mir, thank you for the follow. I gotta check these chests. Ah! Uh, <laughs> he 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 he! Love you, game. Best game 2023. That's the second rage at a no knockback. Would I play 11 Horizon? Mm -mm, I'm done with 11. I played 11 a long time ago when it was like new and fresh. Uh, I, like, legit, like, I'm not gonna lie, Super Joy. Uh, Super, one super great guy. Um, if I had more hours in the day, I would consider it. But I just frankly just don't have time to even commit to that game. I know what that game involves, and I just do not have time. I tried one of the private servers before. We did, um, Nasomi for, like, a little bit. That was fun. I had a fun time there, but... I know what I'd be walking into, and I do not have the... I barely play... I barely play games off-stream. Like, I don't have time for it. I, like, the only time I'm gaming at this point is on-stream. That's kind of helps with burnout, but like... That's all I have time for. I hope we get patrolling mimics. I hope we get someone... Um... You know what I want to see, Joni? I want an artist to 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 showcase and to write and to and to do like a character reference of a mimic where it explains how in the world they're able to actually move like i want a character reference mimic to to be like demonstrating how and why a mimic is able to propel itself forward and backwards specifically forwards i want to see that I love Eleven at the time, but remembering the installation <laughs> installation process that doesn't intimidate me. I mean, I'll I'll just install it and then like you know run away. But ah yes, no items, my friend. I love no items. Forward and back. That's right. Magic. I'd be interested just to see like what the artist's interpretation is, you know? Hey, that's worth it. Not sure why I decided to do... Oh my god, I couldn't melee. They just all Lee everywhere? But you gotta have to have a visual representation of it, that's the thing. They have microscopic muscled legs. That could work too.
Do not aggro, do not aggro, do not aggro, do not aggro. Very good. I actually trap myself, because I have to wait for the soul player to potentially move first. And he's not moving. Okay. If that arch demon comes here, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, I'm good. I'll either go Machinist or Gunbaker first, but Machinist might get cheesed by something I don't know from the mob in New Eagle Orthos. Yep. I actually released a video today, which was the fifth Eureka Orthos prepping video of the series, discussing about what I think are ideal jobs for Eureka Orthos. Quick video, it's like a two and a half minute video, it's not too long. But yeah, I do feel like, um, oh man, Strike and Steal? I'm okay though. Um, I feel like jobs like Reaper, Summoner, Machinist are going to be good, but not in the beginning. Because they're going to be tough to prog in my opinion, but I think there are still people who will uh, try to do it anyway, which is great. Like, like you know, it's, uh, Godspeed to you guys, but it might be a tough, a tough existence trying to prog those jobs. I think they're going to be good once we get better information. But when you're trying to go through a, a content without any information at all, you need to try to just live as long as possible in my opinion. I might be able to get out of one more kill. Ninja's a decent choice. Ninja's mobility is going to be out of, out of this world. Um, yeah, two Sakuchi charges. On top of the Sakuchi reset, it's gonna be nutty what you can do on Ninja. Hope it's better. I think it will be. The bosses for sure are gonna be better. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about that part. Because looking at the very first boss, the floor 10 boss, really looks promising already. Like the floor 10 boss looks even more exciting than like... It looks more exciting than like Onma already. And that's the floor 10 boss. Um, technically yes. But we're a little unsure if that's the final product. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, in the live letter, Yoshi P was in Eureka Orthos and he had a weapon on. But it wasn't glowing. And like, all the deep dungeon weapons up till now have glowed. And then also, he he cheat coded his his arm and his arm to sixty, and it still didn't glow. But in Palace of the Dead, there is a mechanic where, and most of you probably know this. Once you push your arm and armor to sixty, it changes from white to red. Um, so I don't know if that's gonna be something that's in effect there, but it could also be because he like inputted a code for it that it didn't change. But I don't know. But if you look at the live letter stuff, it's gonna be there. Wow, I got out. Uh, it's it's gonna be there, so you can take a look at it. But it, it doesn't glow, it has like an elegant feel to it. But that's all we saw. It was really hard to see in a Black Mage Lala Belt. What Mokos said is true, but it's probably still in like, you know, Working Sage. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Uh, it's very possible. Check down was an unfinished code. It's it's all possible. Okay, definitely want the strength. I want at least two enemies doing that landmine, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that happening. And I don't know if I want to take on the soul flare, that's the thing. I wish, but glowable die has just been a dream of mine. I don't think it's gonna happen in Deep Dungeon. Oh, that works. Mm.
Okay, good pull there. Arch Demon coming in. Oh, I missed. Got it. Oh, come on. Stop missing. Looks like I'm only gonna get that Soul Flare, the landmine over there. I kinda wish I had gotten a little bit more than that, but... Oh, I'm out! Never mind. Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's kind of a moot point. I don't need to kill anything more. Alright. Miss Alchemy! Hello! It is good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday today. I am doing amazing! Thank you for asking. Hey, thanks for shouting out a buddy alchemy! It's one of the one of the awesome communities out there, especially in Crystal. Well, it in, in, in Crystal, but you'll usually find me in her stream just vibing and chilling out. Great great person, great stream over there, great community. A very good community. I hope you happen a wonderful Thursday. Oh wait the boss? Oh not yet, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, do we hit the boss yet? Alright. Apparently it's Fire Emblem Day. Okay, that is uh good. Uh, took someone through BA for the first time, then just got done doing- NICE! Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, today's raid day for you guys, right? Very cool. Good. I don't want to do that again, because... Well, I have the Arch... Oh, Arch Demon, though, without stun? Come here. I need to make Pogs and Engage to catch up to you so I can watch g Well, I'm, I'm playing again tomorrow. So, you know... But, oh my god, he wants to play. Engage is so much fun, I'm having so much fun with that game. Can't wait to play that game tomorrow. The dialogue is so... funny. Like, I can see why people were, were, were like, not liking the dialogue, I get it. But to me, it's just very entertaining. I, I just find it entertaining to me. What chat am I on? 12? I think I'm on 12. I think 12. Well, I think you were there, well, I think, when we ended Broki, so that's all. That's as far as I got on Monday. So I think it's 12. Oh, nice. Strength and Steel for the boss. Okay. Uh. I don't have time for the boss. I mean, I don't have time for the Arch Demon. Uh, Shady Sand says Last year I came back to the game after a break and since starting Deep Dungeon more seriously, I remember that I leveled most shops 6170 Heaven on High. I checked my saddlebag and sure I kept my pot shirts. 128 of them! Damn! And now that you can get more out of them because it's 30 seconds, I guess you're set for life. Thought I missed a stream or two? Nah, I think, yeah, Monday was the last one I played, and tomorrow will be the next one. So you didn't miss, you didn't miss at all. I'm excited for EO, says Nascus, and to experience it myself. I'm a bit more excited to see how I navigate the solo job. How long will you guess it may take me? I don't know. It's a really good question, and I don't know. It's I I'm not very good with speculation, and really the reason is um I don't even have like a basis of comparison because when I did Heaven on High, um that was during the point in time when I was still like not believing it was possible to get Necromancer. Like I wasn't even close to Necromancer. I mean I was stuck in the 180s. But I wasn't really close to getting Necromancer at all. So we were progging Deep Dungeon like some of you guys doing it for the first time, trying to get the first clear. 
But now it's like, you know, we're 19 out of 19 on both deep dungeons. I've been doing it for like six years. Um, so it's hard for me to gauge. Like, it comes down to how how hard they made it, right? Because if it's like not that hard, you know, quote unquote, then I mean, maybe we clear it pretty fast. But if I'm getting challenged in here with the boss fights and some of that and trying to navigate all the floor, okay, yeah, it might take me a while, but I'd like to think all that accumulative knowledge is carrying over uh, into the new one. So it's very hard for me to gauge how fast it'll take me to clear it. And then on top of that, um, it, it depends on how my body is going to handle it. Like, like that's my problem too. Is like I, I would like to stream like long hours, but I don't know if my body agrees to it. Um, and that could become a little bit of a problem too. But I can't force myself if I get if I have to sleep and stuff. Uh, what does new deep dungeon prog look like? Do you intentionally test aggro types and things? Um, hmm, that's a very good question. Um, I think since you're kind of racing Xanfell, I think that goes hand in hand of like learning aggro types. Um, like you're gonna have to just like pull stuff and just find out what they do, and you kind of and you play a little safer, right? Like you don't go super aggro on the pulls, and you just gotta go DPS. You have to like play the play the card of like, okay, what is this thing gonna do? What's the reaction? Like, if there's a lot of telegraph AoEs, you're not standing in them. That's first and foremost, right? But of course you're not gonna know what they're what, what they're gonna do. I mean, the one that's gonna be tough is you if you get an enemy like a mammoth with a fake AoE. And probably the way I handle that is I'll probably just like get behind every single AoE. Like like there's a couple rules that I will follow to kind of increase my ability to survive. Like example um, some people have always pointed out when I, when I, like, let's take a deep eye that we just fought today. A deep eye gaze is a conal front, is a front conal. But I will get behind a deep eye and I will turn around. And it's completely unnecessary, but man, I got burnt when I did Heaven on High when some of the, some of the AoEs are 360. You know? So it's like, okay, uh, when I'm probably gonna do an EO, is I'll probably handle every single gaze as a 360 AoE. And I'll get behind and I'll turn around. I'll probably handle every telegraph where I try to maybe run behind every telegraph or like LOS every telegraph, like, you know? Like, we'll play like very safely until I'm afforded the ability to eat the AoE, to see what it does, test them out. But I think you're not gonna see too much experimenting on purpose. You're just going to see me try to just survive as long as possible and it will come kind of hand in hand if you find out some mysterious aoe decides to kill you right it's like oh okay well that kills me i better really not step on it that kind of thing but yeah you're probably gonna see me raising as early as 51. um i'm probably gonna have to sacrifice to run that early and raising as, as high as 51. And if you're looking at something very similar to uh, Heaven on High, you're gonna expect 51 to really be a, a mark of when things are gonna start to ramp up in difficulty, right? So, yeah, early raising. Um, I think what you may not see out of me is a lot of Witching emergency plays. So, like, Witching can certainly save you um, from you know, bad AoEs, bad pulls, but I'm gonna try to hold on to that until, like, I really, really need to use it. What's my Aether plan? 60-60 or 70-70. We're gonna go into Light Party. I'm gonna spam 21 to 30 until I get that number, and then I start soloing from there. That's my plan. That is my plan. <laughs> EO Mammoth, they show one shot from behind. Oh my, yeah. Uh, I mean, then you're gonna get- then you're gonna get some things that are like super troll, that's right. You know? A little loud. Why are you only grinding Aether Pull to 60 and not in a group? Um, it's the same advice that I give for people trying to solo, like, Palace of Dead. Uh, you don't need up to 99, and if you're spamming 21 to 30, the, the upgrades are gonna come slower and slower. Um... 
And if you start 60 or 70, assuming, I mean, you're going to get silver chests, right? You need demi clothes. So they're going to give you upgrades. And I'm also going to assume that I'm not clearing on my first attempt. So if I'm not clearing on my first attempt, then I'll go back on the second attempt. And more than likely, I'll now be like 80 or 90. And it saves me time. I'd rather, I'd rather have the time for Frog than the time to level Arm and Armor. Higher reason, higher Aethipal. I'm- I'm- that's- that's- yeah, I mean you can, but that's not my path. I'd rather- I'd rather solo past 31. I don't want to see anything past 31, uh, in a group. Because it, it will- how I deem it, and again, you can disagree with this, but if I see anything past 30 in a group, it doesn't help me solo. Like, I learn nothing from it solo. Um... Because what enemies do, how bosses function, can be different in a solo environment than in a party environment. And I'd rather put that time in by myself. And that's why we're doing it that way. There's definitely lots of arguments about what you think is going to be the best to learn and prog. I would say a vast majority of people are going to take a light party, climb all the way up to the top, gather as much information from that, and then start soloing. Uh, I know Chila and Pin are going to duo um, all the way up and then go solo after that, but I want the solo right out of the gate. That's how I did it before, and uh, that's what I'm comfortable with. Uh, I feel you should at least yoink footage from people. Nope. Nope. That is actually going to give me false information. I can't do that. Um, I cannot rely on the light party information because it's going to potentially throw me off. I need to learn it in a solo format. Because here's a thought, okay? Now... Heaven on High doesn't do it this much. Uh, Heaven on High doesn't do this th that much. But Palace does. You have a handful of enemies in Palace of the Dead that have party mechanics that do not have the same mechanics when you're solo. So a Gubu in uh, the High... I think it does it in 91+, plus, but I'm not sure... Uh, 191 plus, but I don't know if it... I, I know it... Oh, wait. I'm not sure if it does it in 191+. Plus. I know it does it in 140, 131, where it'll do the Tank Buster, but then it'll do a pull-in. Mechanic. Like, it's similar to Lost City. The Lost City of Andapur. It doesn't suck you in, but it does a- it does a- it does a draw in. It doesn't do that solo. And then you have a Gravekeeper who will do the Light Beam, which I still don't even know what the hell it does, but that only does it in a party. And not to mention, when it comes to bosses, if they're going to do things that is a little bit more boss-like, you might be seeing mechanics that solo will see that a party doesn't do. So for me to set my expectations in a party format, of things that I'm going to see will will be probably to me it's more detrimental than me figuring it out on the spot. Again, the logic can be flawed and I could be wrong, but that's how I'm going to do it. Does that make sense? I mean the only the only thing in a in a group format that is actually a pretty good idea is if you climb up in a group and let's say you step onto 91 plus and everyone just goes their own path and just starts soloing. That would be a good way to practice soloing, because if you engage enemies as a four-man group, you're probably going to murder them pretty fast, and you're not going to see half their mechanics that you have to worry about. So if I see that, what am I going to tell them? Oh, the enemy's not that bad, it dies fast. But then I look at it also, I'm like, well, it has, this thing has to do more than what it just did in the first 10 seconds. So it does mean nothing. Like, I'd rather just be putting my time into doing the content than just watching video. So, again, logic can be flawed. Uh, you might think differently, but in reality, there is no right answer here, right? Because we're, we're stepping into a field right now that there isn't a path to victory. Like, we're going to figure out what the path of victory is. People are going to do all these different things of trying to get to the, the, the first clear. And, you know, if you think it's a good idea, honestly, like, try it out, because you might be right. Um, so, it's hard to gauge true. Yeah. So I, I've always said this from the very beginning. And what's up, Wetmog? We are stepping into 161 in a bit. I will take a break here, but I'll talk with chat for a little bit. Um, I have always said this, that I prefer to, to do content in the content. So like striking dummies for me, a lot of times are pointless. Because yes, I can practice rotation. You know, I can, I can work on hitting my buttons. But like, like people suggested that in PvP. Uh, practice on a striking dummy in PvP to practice your rotation. But in my brain, I'm like, 
but the, the dummy isn't moving. How am I supposed to handle all the crowd control and a moving target and certain situations and with other parties? Like, I'd rather spend the time doing it in the content than hitting a dummy that is not the content. And, and for some people, that does help them. But for me personally, that doesn't help me. So that falls under that same category where I can run in as a group in a light party, I can clear to 100, but I'm going to essentially think that's just a waste of my time because I will learn nothing. Because I have to basically prog solo now. Like, like okay, I, I see this enemy, it kind of looks dangerous, but like, what's the information I'm, I'm pulling from it? Like, I'm not, not much. Like, I'm just gonna... I ra I'd rather have spent that like three hours to like prog solo, so <laughs> um, what everyone decides to do. I hope they have fun and basking new content. They will. I can't wait to have all these discussions when it happens to see what people are doing and to and to see how it goes. Like it's just gonna be so much fun. It'll be much better and more interesting experience if you to watch it do it. Yeah, yeah. You know it is part of the show too. Um, watch they add monkeys, anzus, worms back to scare. They better. I better see a chimera and a and a freaking ape and a manticore. We talked about it earlier. I hope they have patrol manticores again that will delete me because that's always a fun time. I like the dummy to build muscle memory. Mm -hmm. No, you got it. It's just for me. Um, I'd rather build the muscle memory in the actual content. You know, like you have to deal with phase transitions or people running away in PvP. So. Practicing a practicing a rotation on a dummy for me it makes no sense because that's not that's not the that's not the the scenario that I'm practicing for. Practicing rotation P seven S that's like an interactive targeting dummy. Just finished sixty one seventy with forty five seconds left. That was at wow. Well, I mean, look, you made it. So I hope they have starboard larvae somewhere without AOE markers. I mean, if you did some of the Boja duels, I mean, you might see what twisters. I uh, dude, I bet you're seeing twisters. I, I would almost put money that you're seeing twisters of something in in Allegan, in an Allegan deep dungeon, right? You have to see twisters. Uh, Chimera, Chimera and Manticore would be on brand. It would be. Make the monkeys patrols. Yeah, we were thinking about monkey patrol sound, and then still eating bananas on the run. You know, it's like a it's like a New Yorker going to work. Got to eat on the run. Frontlines have the best striking dummies if you want to pack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's still good. Alright, let me take a break. Uh, two minutes, I'm gonna hit the restroom. Um, I think I'm gonna re-up my ice here, and then we will go into 161. Red Mog, I hope you're doing well. Everyone else, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. We shall return in about two minutes. So thank you for watching. BOB.
with my headphones on. Mecha Monkey? That's true. Might get the Mecha Monkey. Don't forget Exa Flares Deep Dungeon, and now they put it in every content, why not Deep Dungeon? Yeah, it's in, um, Exa Flares were in, uh... The Duels. Twisters, Exa Flares... Uh, Misdirection? I know a lot of people don't like Misdirection. That's a fun one. I hope they- I hope we actually see some, like, solo unique... Some unique... Uh, mechanics in, in Eureka Orthos that you've never seen before. I hope they really get creative. Also, Mage, by the way, thanks for the follow. I hope they get really creative with some of the mechanics, you know? God, it'd be so cool to, like, try to resolve solo mechanics that you don't see anywhere because they catered it to solo. Like, that'd be so cool. Anyway, let's continue. Time for 161. New debuffs? Might get them. Oh god. That would be interesting. Uh, Jaculo. Julio. Yeah, that would be fascinating. Like, that's gonna... I, I had joked one time about, like, them introducing Chimera's Jaculio, and it would be the reverse. So instead of Ram going out, you have to go in. And Dragon, instead of going out, you have... Instead of going in, you have to go out. That's gonna kill, like, everyone. <laughs> everyone's dead. It, like, whoever the first one to find it out, dude. It's just everyone's dead, that's it. This is bad. Don't wish that evil? I wanna wish the evil, dude. It's gonna be a good show. I love a good show. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so just opposites of track. Yeah, Magnus and me are okay. I know there are a couple people who like had a little bit of problems with Magnus. Well, I was okay with Magnus personally. Chimeras have to contribute to the most deaths of any mob. They do. Yeah, that's right. How do you, how can you do this many sets in seating? I do one set where I have to concentrate a bit, I have a long break after. I'm conditioned, man. <laughs> I've been doing this for like four years, so I'm just used to it. I think also it's because I just love the content, Hustle Hoop, that really helps, right? If I just really like the content, I just have so much fun. That probably helps me, but I'm pretty much conditioned at this point, you know? Just another day in the office for me. That is a landmine. Hmm. I just used my teleportation, so I need to use- I need to wait a little bit. Ooh. <clears throat> Manticore's with Tail Slam. Yeah, like, you know, previous knowledge is really gonna help. Um, for sure. But I have to keep an open mind to potentially see new mechanics as well. Like, it'll be good to, like, see, like, you know, you see a crocodile, you can expect this, this, and that, but... You still have to keep your eyes open just in case it happens to do this brand new crap that you haven't seen before, you know? Okay, good. Nice and clean. Nice and fast. Hope there isn't there isn't something that chases you down to take a <laughs> uh an idea that came into play was having the Tonberries show up jonks. Like the phantom Tonberries in um in uh I keep forgetting the dungeon, but you know guys you know what I'm talking, one of the fifty dungeons. That is just like chasing you. <laughs> it's just behind you the whole time. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, Wanderer's Palace, yeah. Ba -ba -ba Ooh. Why, hello there.
Isn't this danger, which means, uh, oh no, like, maybe not, I don't know, whatever. Twitch in. Hey, Kenjin. Thank you. Tonberries from there would be interesting. Elegant Tonberries, you can love it. I made you bankrupt? Bro, the game made you bankrupt. I could have picked up nothing, but the game kept picking them up, so... I'm, uh, you know, that's not on me. I have Bloodbath here. Hello! You dropped the chest. Oh, you dropped the bad chest, you little jerk! Did he die already? I have strength on. Yeah, that's a strength. Almost out of the set. Don't turn around! Good boy. Good boy, good boy. FF11 song? FF11 song. Some would argue this is the this is the content that killed the game, but I I still liked it. <laughs> I know, I know. My channel points are trash, I know, but the idea still hasn't sparked in my brain yet. We'll get there eventually. You disagree? I understand it. I don't agree with it myself, but I understand it. That it really changed the whole complexion of Eleven when Abyssy came in, but I loved Abyssy. I loved that content so much. It was so much fun for me. I, I spent so much time in that content. I don't have any more! Oh no, the exit is actually blocked by Wyver. I'll do it. Wow, we don't have good pulls at all. They're all crocodiles, oh my god. God damn it. Nah. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I can't wait to do this song in theater rhythm. I know this song is in theater rhythm. I haven't gotten there yet. Water combat? So basically blitz balls, what do you want? Oh my god, there's nothing to pull. I got something to pull. Oh, nice! Okay, that really changes a lot of things here. Hey, Kenbar, how you doing? Makes my life so much easier that I have that seal. Mining out for mate, how's it going? Going awesome. So far, so good on this run. Can't complain. Bum, bum, bum. 
There's nothing here. Alright. Um, I'll just pull you. I'd be in Blitzball all day long if they added it to this game. I would probably be too. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll have a class similar to Waka. Tossing beach balls to people. You just want to toss a beach ball to someone? I think the patrol's here. Yep. I'm gonna wait for him to go and then we'll pull. Give, give me the physical range class like Waka. <laughs> That would be interesting for sure. The expansion will have Kingdom Hearts collab and get a Keyblade as a job. Oh my god. And then the story can get all convoluted from there on. Blitzballer? Yes. BB! You could at least drop something, god damn it. Alright, meme dino by the exit. My the dawn's here. Come here, Wyver. The realistest the realistest elemental reels. Hmm. Yo, what's up, quad? Man, I'm loving this job. Ninja's fantastic, dude. I love Ninja. Ninja's just fun. You know, yeah, it's still difficult, but it's fun. That's why it's great. Wait, why did you use that first? Hello? Wait, what? Wait, I'm not confused. Are you gonna use it again? No. Interesting that you used it first. Huh. Put me off. Yeah, it is the Kefka floor. I don't think I've ever seen it use like use uh, the back one first before. Oh, that's a fun room right over there. Looks like very much fun. When you ignore three, dang. Yeah, I'll do another alteration, why not? I bought 3 and I never installed it. Because I got hyped about it in E3 when it came out. But I never installed it. Time is, uh, very good. Can't complain. Oh, I guess when we control Mega, new deep dungeon's gonna be elegant themed, and maybe Final Flow of EO will be elegant space station where you were able to spectate Top Prog. <gasps> You're right. I got burned. It's Mimix. What are the chances of the exits to the right side, though? Oh, I still aggro! <laughs> I... 
<laughs> I tried to clip through and it worked, rip. Oh well, it was worth the try, huh? The exit actually is here too. Is that a silver? I can't see. I think that is a silver. I still can't see if that's a silver or not. If I enjoy myself and have fun, anything is a good game to you. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if I got this correctly. I do. I am well. I was born. I was born in America, but my my family is from the Philippines. I'm gonna pull this one. Should have enough time to kill it for my steel one. Hey, what's up, Fraggy? So big! So big, so big. 10 seconds on the steel. So big, so big. Steals down. Strength. I think I aggro the other Mimic if I try to go to the other room, which is tempting to check that chest, but we'll see what happens after this kill. Exit is clear. I could just fight another one. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fight another one. Sounds like a good plan to me. Ow! Can you not? Witching back, so that's good. I think I'll just take the time. But I think I aggro the other mimic trying to get the other chest. <clears throat> you got a video for the new. Yep, it's on YouTube. I don't have it quickly at hand, but we have the No Strength Behemoth on YouTube. Have I ever gone to the Philippines? Yes. Um, my parents used to bring me when I was uh, very little uh, to the Philippines. Like, that used to be my summer vacation. So anytime we were in summer break here after school, we would go to visit the family. Because basically, um, at least with my family, especially my mom's side, uh, family is very important. You know, to see the family, to introduce the family, so on and so forth. So they really tried to make it a point to, for, for me and my brother to, you know, get to know the family that's not in America, essentially. 
Um, so we did that for quite a bit of time, and it was, it was a lot of fun, for sure. But yeah, I was, I've been there a number of times. The last time I was there, though, was probably... Ooh, it's been a while. Maybe, like... Oh, uh, right before the pandemic, so that was, like, four years ago-ish? That's the last time I was there. It's hard, though, because, you know... Um, it's, it's, it's still a little difficult to go now there because the, the concerns with, with, with COVID and all that stuff. Um, I'd love to go back. The only problem is that I kind of hate a little bit. Um, not the family part. It's just every time I go to the Philippines, I almost always get sick. Like, no matter what. Like, something is going to get me sick and it kind of sucks. Um, you know, whatever reason it is, it's... It's getting used to the food, the uh, the different temperature, whatever it is. It I always get sick, so okay. this is gonna be a little hard. This one's next. Oh, I'm out of range. Too. What? You're really that far away? I guess I should have done the shuriken this one. Any silver... Are silver chests the only ones that can detonate? That is right. Only silver chests can detonate. Bronze and, sil bronze and gold will never detonate in the current deep dungeon. And I just say that as a disclaimer, because... Maybe it changes in Eureka Orthos, but it that is the case in uh, Palace of Heaven High. I do have to get rid of that Triceratops soon. And that's the only thing I need to get rid of, and I can get across the room. My Bloodbath is almost up. I do want to wait for that to happen. I do have Faint as well, in combination. Soggy Sausage! Thanks for the raid! I have a flight going. Sight. Uh, okay. And while I'm waiting for my uh, potion to come up, what's up, Soggy? How's your stream? What were you up to today? Shout out to Soggy Sausage, member of the community, doing some 14 today. Very cool. What's up? What are you up to? Let me know. Welcome in. I'm Angel's Demons. If it's your first time here, I do a lot of deep dungeon solo on my end. Aw, oh, crap. God damn it, what job are you trying on? Damn, I actually had a internet issue earlier, but that was on me this time, not the game, but yeah. Sucks. Risqué. Ooh. Uh, I can totally get that. Dragoon! Oh man. I'm sorry to hear it, but I'm sure you'll get back in there. What's up, Kiyakus? How you doing? Sorry to hear that. It happens to all of us. Does it... Uh, um, I don't think it affects uh, Rezo. I'm almost certain it doesn't. Like, I'm pretty certain. Whoops, I messed up. I hit the wrong button. Because I'm focusing on trying to get a potion, so I gotta mess up my smudges there. You got the sick? Oh no! I'm sorry! You okay? I should have checked the chest. 
are hella rough right now. I'm sorry to hear that. I already have to go last day of the internship though. Okay, you sound happy about it. I hope you had a good internship though. Let's go. Hope it leads to awesome things. Thank you! Amazing, awesome. That is what you want to hear from an internship. Super cool. Really cool. Time is very good. Not really concerned at all about time, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, witching could come into play. I think this is flighted and altered. Don't see where the exit is though. Not yet. Shank, witching. I can't get how nice. I can't get over how nice having our 90 kits would be for EO. It's been a long time since you've been able to do it. Anyone's been able to do a deep dungeon with the full kit. 2018. Actually, up to like I guess what 2020 was when Shadow when when Shadow Vegas came out. In a long time since anyone's been able to use a full kit. Oh, I got a, I got a Corgan. I'm gonna use a Shank now because there's a chance I don't come back here. Um, the requirements to enter Eureka Orthos is, uh, Palace of the Dead 50 finish Kona, and also completing the Endwalker main story. That is the only requirements. Palace of the Dead. You don't have to do Heaven on High. Palace of the Dead 50, for story, and finishing Endwalker. So technically, yes, it's locked behind. Uh, it's locked behind um, Endwalker, but yeah, you have to finish Endwalker. But like 6.0 Endwalker, not like 6.3 Endwalker. That makes sense. Okay, I have to get through you. Wait, no, I don't. I'm lying. Maggie can't even go in for two years. Isn't she like in the middle of Endwalker right now? She's doing that on stream though. Curious City story was so long I don't even remember what it was. That just there's a cool connection to what it- Yep! Yeah, it was an Edda story, and then the Necromancer, blah blah blah, something to that effect. Yeah, pretty much that's the general gist of it. And related to Tactics Ogre, all that fun stuff. Another strength, cool. We have uh, a little bit of time. You know, time time might get a little spicy, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Could be possible. It's funny, I feel like I was going at a moderate pace for Ninja, but then I look at the time and like, oh. Huh. I technically could almost go for a speedrun if I went a little bit faster. Oh, I used that potion really bad. That was a bad potion use right there. Because I didn't get anything out of it. How do you go from time is very good to time is spicy in 3 minutes? 
Well, one was being sarcastic, and two was being, uh, truthful. What is this? Oh, I didn't check that one. Oh, strength. Okay, strength. One of them is a safety. Well, that's another safety. I need to watch and remind myself what you can pull in at multi pull in Astro. Kind of comes down to how ballsy you are. Not gonna lie. Like, how ballsy are you? And then, I mean, you could multi pull a Chimera, but do you really want to multi pull a Chimera? Oh, okay, life's easy. Easy game. I had to do a bag opening stream before EO. How much inventory do you think I actually have? To, 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 to make that actually happen. It's super late here, so I'm gonna head to bed, says Jonks. Good luck on the rest of the run, have a great rest of the night. Thank you. Hey Jonks, have a good night to yourself, and I hope to catch you the next stream that we have over here. Thanks for passing by, dude. Well, I had to kill everything. Wow. That Triceratops was taking a poop to see that. He was like hanging over the edge with his butt outside. Taking a poop. Didn't think I'd see it. Alright, let's pick up the strength and off we go. Got some chest chest drops here, and I gotta pick up the rage. Yeah, I'll take it. That's actually really good. Poss possibility to get a steal in the next set because of the affluence. Deep blue. This might be a multi pull. It is a multi pull. Can't bind. I have raising up, so. Kind of caring less about this right now. So if I if I did not have that raising up, I would have totally like witching or something. But also wasn't sure if I could bind, which I didn't bind. I would be so lazy to use Mudras for Hotan every time. Oh yeah, I I. I wouldn't necessarily call it lazy, I just call it like efficient. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, raising definitely dictated that one. Um I like I made a very conscious decision there. So I knew what risk could happen if you do a double triceratops, but yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go catch up in main story, hope the mine goes through. Thanks, Kona, enjoy the main story. Have a good night. Or day, whatever. <laughs> Steal! Nothing saved it. Yeah. Um, 
Ta -da. Retro OG Sun, and thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Is that two silver chests? And that's a bronze chest. Alright, I don't really have any more chests. That sucks. I was hoping for a steel here, but... I guess not. Hey Corgi, I'm looking forward to seeing your clear. Hey Corgi! I got you dude, thanks for passing by. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, day over there. As always, as wonderful. Hey yo. Love it. Ha! <laughs> You can just craft it! Oh my god, you people are just so crazy. You can just craft it. Sounded like Finn and Aurora at this point, like they empty the market boards to get that. I'm not out of here yet. Logged in just to sit between floors. Nothing wrong with that. Big fan of Witching plus Lust as well, so I'll, I'll try to use that. Oh, for healer, 100%. Definitely got convinced a lot to use that strategy, but... For melee, it's a little tougher. Craft needs of Fate materials. Isn't that what uh, the restoration's for? Don't they have Fates over there? Oh, I'm not out of here. We'll deal with that Bloodbath. I have Raising, it's fine. Alright, boss time. I'm gonna wait for my mug to come in. So I can get it on a rotation. Get like 30 seconds on mug. Um, do I strength though? Well, if I go right now, then I don't have to strength probably. Right, let's just do the steel and. Can you carry up raising 200 or is it- It is only usable- It only lasts 10 floors, or rather lasts the instance. So if I use it at 171, it'll last until I die, or all the way up into- Well, I have one up now. So it'll last until I exit this instance. Pretty much.
Okay. Strength is down. I got the big Pegasus money, so it doesn't bother me that much. That's fair. I got my controller UI. Set up, back up, made set back up and everything, so I guess tomorrow I'm gonna dive back in. Hell yeah! You got a month, man, you got a month. No time like the present. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have melee dented the thing. Oh. Bad play a little bit. What is a sword macro in 6? That is my behemoth HP macro. So it's just a generic icon, but I use that for the behemoth macro. Time is fine. We'll definitely do this in, in the steel, so that's good. We'll be taking a three minute break once we kill the boss here. I'll do a little bit of IRL cleanup, um, and then we'll come back and also get the ads kind of, you know, in check for the run. So just a heads up on that one. But after the boss dies. Oh, I should have done another melee, that's my bad. I keep making that mistake. Trying to clear? 100%! All the way up today. All the way, you got a long night, so I got 3 hours at least on stream. Huge. Hopefully this time we get our redemption arc on Ninja and not mess up the 181 like it did last time. At least that's the goal. Oh, too far. Oopsie doopsie. Go dead serpent. Right. Cool, 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 cool. How many time one hour artifacts do I have? Oh, we're getting closer. Okay, so uh, I'll take a three minute break here. Uh, then we'll step into 188, 181, oh, 170, what, what number? 171 plus. I'm jumping ahead of myself. 171 plus for the behemoth at 180. That's what I was trying to say. Um, three minute break. Uh, the best you could have done with the RNG was to save one rage, one reason. Um, well, no, the best, what I could have done in 191 was go with my gut and resolution. So. so 
Like, I, I, I'm not sure if 191 would have been a win, but at the same time, like, I could have gotten out of 191. It's just I put myself in such a terrible position, so. Okay, so give me three minutes, I'll come back. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll continue in about three.
Let us continue. I went in 171 Behemoth. I know someone asked earlier, um, how do you handle Behemoth on Ninja? Well, I'll show you in about an hour. So stay tuned. Do you let the game reward you with time one artifacts so you can look back in the future and count how many sets of floors you've done? Um, I am leaving the... I do leave the, the quest open because for no other reason other than just for, you know, literally shits and giggles. Um, I am planning to do a Twitter post when I see 99. Although I don't know if I hit this before Yubika uh, Orthos, I'm not sure. But do we do... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I hit this before Yubika Orthos. Hmm. I'm trying, but I'm not sure if I do. But right, we'll get pretty close, that's for sure. Alright, shall we? <clears throat> Let's go. F ones. My my red mage isn't ninety, so. But I will be doing some heaven on high practice. That's for sure. But my red mage isn't ninety, so I can't technically practice ninety. But I'll learn. I'm gonna learn red mage in deep level. Like I like I've done always, pretty much. I don't know which way it's going. I think the only thing that changes the AD is that, uh, yeah, I have Magical Barrier and I had the Line AoE. So I know what they are, but I'll learn it in... I'll learn it, I'll figure it out. It's not, it's, that's not gonna be too big of a deal. I pretty much have learned a lot of the other jobs on the spot, like, we learned Reaper on the spot, we learned, um, Sage on the spot, so I'm not really worried about that. Not at all. Oh, I wasn't targeting the... I thought I was targeting him. I was wondering why nothing was happening. That Domel. Okay. Now he's okay. He was in a spot that probably aggro's, but. There's my steel, nice. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. I didn't need to do anything more, okay. 
I guess the file. Hey, uh, hey, boss. So far, it's a good king complaint, man. Well, until we get to, I guess, 181, but everything's been smooth so far. Thank you for asking. How's your night? How's your Thursday? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, gets a hell. Another flight, let's go. Cool. Not bad, had raid, made some prog, which is nice, but I played like crap. Ah, uh, I know that feeling. I can relate to that. <clears throat> Frog's good though, you take the wins, you know? It happens. Hey Kona, thanks for gifting two subs. Thanks, hey. <clears throat> Thanks for giving us up to Vials and Kembar. Let's go. Appreciate it. Uh, that's why Silicon is nice. Only this one yourself, which I can handle. Yep. No, I'm. I like I said. That's what I relate to. Like I hate. I, I'm such a perfectionist, and I'm I'm so critical of myself so many times that I think I will totally amplify something that probably wasn't necessarily my fault, but I'll kind of find a way that it was my fault. Does that make sense? Like, oh man, if I could have just done this better. But, sorry, just don't beat yourself too, too much on it. If I predicted the future better. But, yeah. It's alright. Means you got a good head on your shoulders, that's how I look at it. I was saying, okay, what if I did this? Could have saved the run. Good to at least think about it, maybe once, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice dodge. That was a serenity, I know what that is. Oh, I saw like at least two debuffs here. Okay. Alright, we can deal with this. And it's flighted, so it's alright, it's not a big deal. Lot of, lot of goddamn wolves though. That's not good. The curse of a flighted foy where all you get is a wolves. Incoming region now? Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I agree with you, Baggy. No knockback means a higher rate of rages. Imagine that's actually coded in. Imagine that's actually true. That in the in this source code it says that. Increase rages on a no knockback. I'll come back for that. Yeah, 
Let's get the site back. Can do a Dommel. Alteration. No rage this time. Oh, the wolf is in a dangerous spot. Hey Kojo, how you doing? Um, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Hope you're having a good day. Show up tonight working on Palace again. Hell yeah! About a month to Eureka Ortho. It's one month without. Major runs in. Is Yuka going to have anything to do with the other Rika? Absolutely nothing. Nothing to do with it. In fact, another way to look at it, Pandos, Eureka Orthos is the original, authentic Eureka. Uh, and that is by Final Fantasy III lore. So if you play Final Fantasy III, it's related to that one. The Eureka, the Eureka that we have in the game right now, it was basically like uh, something to the effect of like, um, Oh, there's this island that we discovered. Let's just call it Eureka after the one from Crystal Tower. That's the Eureka you know right now. So it was just simply named after the original Eureka, which is the one we're diving into. So that's kind of a cool lore type of thing, you know? Yo, look at all the potsherds. They probably regret now naming the other thing Eureka. Not necessarily. I mean, they could have just named it whatever, you know, anything else they want to, right? They could have just named it Crystal Tower Basement, <laughs> you know. Uh, so you know, it is what it is. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, I guess they they conceded with having to explain that, but yeah. They show the weapon. Um, not directly. Uh, what you saw in the live letter was you saw Yoshi. Like Yoshi P did the content, and you saw the weapon that he had on. But we don't know if that's the final version of it or anything. So. But yeah. At least you saw something of the weapon. It wasn't glowing, but you know, we'll see. I think you're probably just gonna have to wait till the, the thing shows up to see it. And I think also, I guess just as an uh, just as an additional uh, information, it's not in the game yet. So you know, I don't even think you could even data mine it. Not that I not that I suggest anyone to data mine anything, but I don't think it's even out in the game at all. So. Then I have fun. It's odd for everyone. I liked it when I was doing it uh, on content, um, but it wasn't for everyone. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Maybe it glows with Aether up. Well, what they showed in Eureka Orthos, and that's why it's still kind of a question, Fraggy, is that they had uh, Yoshi P started at 0 0 arm and armor, and then, you know, no joke, he put in the cheat codes to put up to 60, and it still was nothing. So we don't know if that's what that's what that is, or it's just because he zoomed it up to 60 that it didn't change or whatever. Um, I don't know. You know, we don't know. Probably just best to wait. The first Yuka isn't isn't fun, but after that, it's enjoyable, in my opinion. I have no abilities. God damn it. Uh, all the things to give me right now. Can give me a flight though. I got a patrol coming. Okay, let's just pull an ape right now. Get him out of the way because he's gonna have to get pulled. Ugh. 
Alright, Jedi Man, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. <coughs> Gordon, thank you. I appreciate that. Finn had an ape that just hit harder than other apes on the same floor. <clears throat> Did it eat its cereals or something? can't fight the Wyson. The Wyson would be really bad to try to fight because the Wyson, I can't get out of the AoE. And I don't have damage, so I can't pull the patrols. <clears throat> he was he joked he joked around being the pack leader but definitely just hit harder for some reason. He had his steroids on, it happens. Well his other steroids, not the banana steroids. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get out of here before my steel goes, I think. I have a strength though, so it's good, but I think I have to deal with the, with no steel at some point. Hello? Have a lot of lions, that's good. Is there a chest up here though? That's the question. Half once, I'll use it. Wyson coming in. Is there a chest here? There is, but I don't know if I can get to it. Let's just pull the line right now. We have the strength in a second. Is a gold chest. Okay, so let's do the line first. Gonna re up the strength now. Leave the line here, it's fine. Next pull is probably gonna be a line ASAP. And then I leave the bear in case I need to do it without steel. But then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna pull. Maybe it's gonna be smart of me to pull a, an ape first and then lion, 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 bear just to make sure. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Ooh, and a Wyson just showed up. Uh, I'll just do the lion. Won't really have time. I can't get over there because the Wyson will block me. The other ones are coming there. I want to get that chest that's over. That's over in that area. 
Um, the latter. I don't do apes without steel, unless I'm really ballsy. Very rarely will I try them without steel. That's just not a fun fight at all. Um, e I mean, yeah, but if I mess up, my only answer is a witching. So yes, it's possible, but it's not really worth the risk. I mean, I guess if I had to pick a fight, it's... It's gotta be a it's gotta be a Wyson, as opposed to an ape without steel, you know. But even then it's just it's just gonna be a rough fight. I just hope I don't have to worry about it and we just get the kill here, but we'll see. Okay, I don't have to worry about it. Let me just get out of here. Just enough kills. Oh, I gotta follow a Wysent all the way around. Oh, that's gonna be terrible. Great. Treadmill simulator. I love this. As long as it doesn't turn around randomly. Might be able to sneak past this one, but that's gonna be really iffy. I think I'm not gonna risk it. It's just gonna be a waste of my time to risk it, so we'll just wait. And I gotta wait for that other one anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, eat eat uh eat bison meat. Um, really healthy, delicious flavor. I was secretly wishing it would let you out because of the entertainment. It wouldn't. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, look, I I'm always in for the show. I don't know what I would have pulled though, especially because the respawn was a was a was a wise scent, But no, don't worry about it. That that I don't take that as a bad thing at all. Entertainment value is good for you guys. You learn more from that than just me doing having a clean run. I'm not getting out there. I'm wasting the shank though, but what can you do? It's like I'm hurting my back trying to look at this thing. Can I get past it? Nope, 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 that's a no. <laughs> if it if it waited one more second, I could have probably snuck past them, like get to the left side, and then be able to walk him, watch him walk out. But that's yeah, that's a little too fast. Did you know that you can turn the light off on this one? Turn off the batteries. Okay, let's go. Uh... Bup, bup, bup. This one, this one took a while, so our time was like really good. Now it's like you know, kind of like normal right now. Got a debuff. I lost the abilities and I got a debuff. Okay. Duracell, yeah. Bring my ninja. Yeah, I love. I like it because it's blue. It's the it, and this is the only job that can do the blue one. I think this is flighted. I'm not healing. Ah! Oh boy. Okay. If he's stuck in a melee there, I would have died. <laughs> yeah, nice crit. <laughs> There's a lonely ape up there. Yeah, that chest is not existing. Not even, I'm not even gonna bother. Screw that. I'd rather fight a Weissen at this point. So it was you, J Joe Moose. You made me. You made that crit. How could you? Oh, 
Wow, a magical two kill floor. You don't get very many of those. Alright, let's see what we get for the next four. No buff. Oh, no debuff at the very least. Maybe Gloom? I don't hear Gloom. Nothing. Mimix! But they're on the right- Oh, I have to fight them. Yeah, I have to fight them. I don't think I get to the exit clean. Um, we'll just fight as much as I can before I have to deal with the Mimics first, so... It's probably better than the other things that would spawn. Maybe, but the pox sucks though. You know? I see while I was shopping groceries, chat let me down and I still have three intuitions. I do. I still have three intuitions, right? Oh, cool. I had to do the frenzies on 175 when the machine is, got no abilities and had two license. Pathing back and forth the straight floor, went to, went for my first kick. I'd rather not because no one's- yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah! I thought I could get away with that, but he still hit me. He's too far, I, I can't get him. <laughs> Alright, let's pull you. Wait, actually I'll wait now. Will be next. I don't think I'm ever getting that chest though, so. I'd like to, but I don't think so. Oh, let me see after. Let's just see if I can get this chest. It's possible, but it's a very unlikely scenario. Kevin on high mimic aggro range feels so tiny after Palace is dead. Yeah, and I'm gonna be curious, Pillowfish, what they'll do for EO. Move forward, one more time. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Not that way, dumbass. Okay, we'll go this way. Let's get the paralyze off. While I was writing about EO new, uh, when I was waiting, writing about new EO debuffs. I would wish like a queen delirium debuff where you could only move a few times. Oh god, no chest. I'm I can't do chest, dude. Chest is gonna kill me. Any form of chest, I'm gonna die. I have blood now. We gotta pull.
Ah! That aggroed. Man, like, just right on top of me. What the fuck? Actual jump scare right there. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. At least I don't have to deal with a respawn in five minutes. <laughs> of all the things, I actually double checked to see if it aggroed. I'm like, did I get out of this aggro? Nope. Immediate witching. Good thing I didn't witching for this thing. I was gonna witching a mimic so I don't get boxed. Good thing I didn't do that. Oh my god, I'm not out. I have another racing though, Pog. I was gonna say, if I'm not out after that one, I was gonna be real sad. There is a chest up there, but it's blocked by two apes, so I'm not gonna get there. At least I got off this floor. I can open will randomize the spawns in EO. Oh, interesting. Hmm. This is stressing you out. <clears throat> well, at least one of us is stressed out. Me? Just another day in the office. Okay, there is uh, something coming. Uh, bup, 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 bup. I, I'm like less stressed due to the fact that I have a raising on. Like if I didn't have raising, this would be very, very bad. I mean, actually, this is very bad already because this is HP down, and no one likes HP down. I certainly don't. Oh my god, can I? Act? Okay. Oh boy! Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, HP down. <laughs> he snuck in another auto. That's why it hurt. <clears throat> um, this is gonna be tough. Not sure what I really want to do now, because I lost the raising. So, yeah, the risk of me dying is extremely high because of the HP down, so I have to kind of adjust myself here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to check chests first, if there are any to check. Um, and then we'll determine what I'll do. I will see one over there. I don't see one over here. Oh, there is one over here. Go left. On your left. There's a chest over there. Another bird coming in. Another chest over there. Right, we'll see what happens. Right now, the going strategy is probably like a rage. But what I'm hoping for is a serenity, a steal. I'm hoping for something to help me out here. Because having to now fight with HP down can be can end the run. Like no joke. Like the run can just end. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Just in case. Can't hide to check a chest. Too close to the chest, I toll be aggro. I can get behind this line if it aggroes. Ah, there's an answer right there. Steal. Okay. So let's save my bacon right now. We found our answer. But sometimes checking the chest first and seeing what happens after is worth the effort. Now, this isn't gonna be a walk in the park, it's gonna be a lot easier, but it's not a walk in the park. I also have a bird coming my way. Oh, it's right here. 
Well, go figure. I don't have a potion running. What am I doing? Is that a mimic? Nice. Good thing I didn't use a purity. Like, I wasn't quite sure when I wanted to even use a purity, but I'm glad I haven't used one yet. Does Shenzhen knock you out of hide? Yeah, it would kick me out of hide. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to be very careful with it. And just let, let him finish and then and then do my thing. Is the bird coming this way? Question mark. It is coming this way. I think I can kill this in time. I actually didn't actually mean to pull it, it's just that was the first button I hit. Now I have to really focus in because no reason. I can't really take a big risk, otherwise, it runs over. I'm gonna check this room with the ape to see if there's another chest there that I can check. Gotta kinda move. There is. Yeah, I have to respect the ape. If he gets in the middle of the room, I can sink the chest, or I might end up pulling him to get the chest. I want the chest. A nape just respawned in the other room. Great. Can't believe I've been here five minutes already. Oh my god, I'm out. Oh man, that's gonna be tough. Got a strength though, that's good. Alright, so we have to go all the way south now. Ape is doing his BS. Gotta be careful with the timing here. He might be in a spot that I can get around. That's a little iffy. It's like dead center. I could get around the right side if he doesn't move. And I gotta worry about that bird coming in. Who is going to go, Surfer says. There's left. Yeah, he might be stuck with the lion, so I get a chance to get out of here. Now I gotta follow the... ...bird, make sure I'm not too close. Now, do I see the exit? That's the question. I do. Okay, I don't have to care about- Oh wait, I gotta care about the ape though. If he starts popping his chest and I'm too close, I'm gonna get hit. Should be okay though. If this bird does not give me enough space, I will just fight it. He did. <laughs> Miss Sheila, hello! I'm doing good here, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling a little bit better, a little bit more rested. Oh god! Okay, that was a miscalculation. I didn't think he would move that fast. Tired at the moment. I had 9 a.m. work meeting. Then waited four hours and then two hours of work meeting right after now I'm here. <laughs> Dang, busy day, let's go.
I'm popping potions every 15 seconds, feels bad. That is a bronze chest over there? Yep. Yeah. It does mean nothing. I need to make a good pull here. Uh, I think I wanna... Hmm. I think I'm gonna pull a cat next really fast, like pull another cat. There's a lot of patrols that are floating around here, so those are really good pulls. Do the cat back to back so I can get the paralyzed DR. And while I have the seal, I think I could manage a bird without seal. I don't want to manage a cat without seal. Especially with no raising. Quick pull. Should get this in 30 something seconds, hopefully. Goes down. I do want to get that chest that's by the Anzu, but I didn't want to try to pull this while it's here. Be careful with this tank cluster. Oh, it just went to tropical. Never mind. All right, I'm out. Uh, yo, what's up, Hind G? V pin G. The ambassador to uh, Australia in the house. That give me double lusts. Okay. Okay, where's the bird? Not coming back yet. Alright. Uh, I don't get this chest clean at all. I get that chest clean. What's why give me three lusts? What the hell? What am I doing with three lusts? Oh rage! Okay, that that creates an interesting opening for me. Do I fortune? I think I fortune. Do I safety? The exit is blocked because of two apes, so this really helps me out. Yo, Pal and Fanboy are doing amazing. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well. Oh, gotta do this right now. I gotta be careful. About taking damage from here on out, because I have two apes that are by the exit. Oh. Oh! Okay, we're good. I have two apes by the exit. Um... I do want to clear them out, otherwise I have to fight them. That could really cause a lot of problems, so I have to make sure I do this right. They're my priorities right now. Shots on me. 
That's the most I can do. Thirty seconds to sane did work. Hope it did. What is this? Plus, what is this? Another oh, another rage. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? I have time. I only have time for one behemoth. I may as well just do this so I can get extra kills in. I have no more pox, so I'm gonna heal. No chest drop. All right. So this is about like potential chest gain. Uh, I mean, if I can get a steel, massive. That's what I'm looking for. A steel strength. If I get a mimic, it's unfortunate, but whatever. How's the new system? It's good. I mean, it's just a pure upgrade. Um, I mean, I think some people have to readjust their brains because it it is a third. It is a 15 second recast still, like it used to be. Um. As opposed to it being a 30 second recast, but I think that really helps the quality of life for it overall. But, you know, trying, like, using it, using it when you only lost 15 seconds kind of feels bad, you know? Because you feel like you wasted it a little bit, but. Uh, not a big deal. Did I check the. No, oh, there is no chest. Okay, that's a lust, 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 and then one rage. Got it. With it. And that's a lust, I believe. So there's like three lusts on the ground. Alright, time for Behemoth. Nice casual Behemoth. Just uh, poke him, kill him, all that fun stuff. Okay, relax. No pressure, Behemoth. Well, you know, we could still mess it up, but hopefully we will not mess it up. Newly appointed Australian DD ambassador, exactly. for the weird sound effects in my ears. Surround sound behemoth. Oh my god, stop. Um, Hazalia, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. And Levin, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I hit the wrong combo. I had to scratch my elbow and I hit the wrong combo. You think the healing strat for Dark Knight? What? I did the healing strategy for Dark Knight. That's what I did.
Oh my god. Stop. It's a new healing tincture debate, Dark Knight. I think with Machinus, it's like shifting into healing. Or shifting into nothing, so... Uh... But yeah. The new, the new debate. I don't know, I botched it. Like, I was supposed to set up two Soul Eaters and I didn't even get it to work properly and I still made it, so... I think I ended up taking out food. <laughs> that was my... That was my go-to strategy, take food out, so... Yeah. I know the video is there, I just don't remember it too well, but yeah, the video is there. So, in case anyone was curious about melee behemoth, how this is gonna go and how I don't really care about this, the general gist of this, and I think it's gonna benefit everyone when I just literally repeat it every single time I do melee, whether you've heard me say it 20 times or never. The, the gist of the melee burst is just you get it down to 15, and when you commit to the burst, you don't, you don't burn, you don't use all your cooldowns in the very beginning of the burst. Like, that's what you do for Summoner and Machinist, um, and the casters, so on and so forth, but you don't do that on melee. You have to wait to the first meteor drops and then do a bloodbath and then burn all your stuff. And at the same time, you're actually not even looking to burn everything. You're just looking to get enough uh, enough HP back. Um, you're looking to just get enough HP back from the healing. And you can hold damage and then do it again after you take more damage. That's like the general gist of how to do uh, Behemoth, so... So here we go, we're gonna set it up, I'm not even gonna really care about the rotation here. Pretty much like every time I do this, I ended up at this spot, so it's fine. All my cooldowns should be good to go. Seventeen. At 16, 6. 15, 4, that's good. We'll just hold. Two years. Repeat. Cheers. Nina does games, Minado I appreciate it. Alright, here we go. One cheers, Minado, one cheers, Angelus, Mimic, Bongo, animate. Waiting for this to drop. Trick. Bloodbath, Mug. So, I didn't even use Shade Shift, Potion, Second Wind. We didn't even get there because I didn't need it. But that's Ninja also. Ninja's just too strong. Easy. Nina, thank you for the 24 months of support. I appreciate that. Two years. Good to have you. Uh, it's very comfy. But again, the key to that is that you wait until the first meteor drops, and then you burn all your stuff in. So like, okay, we survived, we survived meteor 2 with the heal, I would have survived meteor 3 with the heal, and I still had shade shift. Uh, so Shade Shift and maybe a little Bloodbath would make me live through 4, and then I could second win Super Win, uh, Super Potion to live through 5, so you go through 6 Meteors on Ninja, it's like, it's stupid. I mean, you could argue that you don't even need, like, Strength or Lust or whatever, but I just kind of do a traditional if you really wanted to, like, you know, edge out your palms a lot better, but... Yeah, yeah, it's almost, it's almost too easy, um, but I do Strength anyway, because it's, it's kind of traditional. You be sure you can show bad. I wouldn't even press buttons. Uh, I mean, how many times have I done Behemoth? Right? It's a big. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot of a different thing, and I'm very comfortable with that. I know the results of it, so there's not too much going on. Uh, R and D. Thanks to follow. Welcome in. Palms are looking good. Well, we'll see. Cause last last Sunday I botched the whole run here, even though the palms are good. But hopefully we'll do a little bit better today. I'll just keep them. I'll keep the mistakes down to bare minimal, and then 
hopefully we'll have a better result. So, uh, let me take a two minute, um, even done, well, the key to that is I don't look at how many people are watching, right? I know there's a lot of people watching, but I have a business, and I, I was so preoccupied with the stupid, uh, the stupid frame dropping, so my mind was like, you know, busy. I'm just people that don't, that don't get severe anxiety in hard parts of this game. Oh, I get anxiety. You don't see it in my face, though. Like, when I had the heart rate monitor, like, my heart rate was going crazy. But you just don't see it on- you just don't see it in my face, that's all. Okay, so, BRB, give me two minutes, I'll hit the restroom, and then we'll come back and do the next set. So, thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate you all. We're going to the end, hopefully, so... We'll be back. Two minutes. Oh yeah, I hit a 170, yeah. I hit, um, I think the highest I got was probably closer to 180. And I remember what happened was because, um, we got raided by my Haps, Mr. Happy, when I was doing Dragoon. And I knew we had a good audience. And then I died to Behemoth, and I had to re-raise. And I had, like, under 6 minutes to kill Behemoth again. So my heart was pounding because I was just like, I really can't mess up today. <laughs> like, not today, come on. So yeah, my heart was pounding on that run. And I died to the- I died- it's funny because I died to the thing I always tell you guys not to die to, which was an auto attack because I stood in front. I stood in front of Behemoth and died to an auto attack. So go figure. And it was Dragoon too, melee. Comfy melee, but you know. Sometimes it just happens. Um... How do you work first now every I job? I try sucks. I don't blame you, that's true. Behemoth was so difficult for me at first, now I killed him three times. Oh dude, look, I mean, some of you might still be around when we when we were trying to handle Behemoth for the first time. Machinist took me five attempts, and that was one of the first ones I tried to go for. Gunbreaker took a while. Gunbreaker took like, I think, five to seven attempts on Gunbreaker. Um, so, like, we took a lot of attempts on some jobs just to get through, but I mean, once you do it so many times, you know, the... the the surprise is not as much, thankfully. And it just becomes routine at that point, which is which is funny. I mean, you know, for some of you guys, you know, doing it for the first time, how tough it is, but you will get to a point where it will actually become routine. Um, to get used to, now I don't flinch. Yeah. Oh my god, like, like melee, melee behemoth. I'm sorry, melee godfather Daraban. Long time. Like, my first melee took me like 12 minutes. On monk, and then it slowly tried to pull that time that time back so it got more comfy, comfy, comfy. But yeah, that was a thrilling. That's a thrilling fight for sure. My nice sprites, one more campa.
Well, I just gotta play clean. That's all I gotta do. I gotta play clean. I play clean, we'll have good results. Last time, last run on sa on Sunday, I used two steals, and I got a total of two minutes out of it. That's horrible. Two steals that are so precious on melee. I literally got two minutes out of it, you know? So we just gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Monk? 180? Yeah. That was that was a thrilling fight. Once I got it down anyway. You wanna use your stuff? You have a thing to use, sir, ma'am. Thank you. Goodness. Astro looks scarier than it is. I think Astro... It's interesting, as I think as a Watcher perspective, it definitely is probably very scary. Trying to do it though? Oh man. How much I couldn't look at chat in that entire run. Yeah, there are bombs here. Of course it is. God damn it. I have a witching, but I don't think I'm gonna get out of it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to utilize the witching. Not even a chest run. Samurai's harder for than Monk for me from 190. I think the hardest melee for me technically is like Dragoon, because Dragoon for some reason I'm always dying on Dragoon. Whereas like the other ones I don't die as much. Monk was the first one I tried on 190 though. Like that was my first experience was 190. Monk. So the, the initial prog was very tough. You're not tanking top anymore? What are you doing, um, Reaper? Reaper? Because it works so now I'm Reaper main. Yo, let's go, Reaper main. Chila! You like tanking with the hubby? Yeah, I imagine. Smudge. Up, I'm up. Do I purity? Question mark. I'm already two minutes in. I guess I hold. You got it. Getting hungry. But it's like 2 a.m. I shouldn't eat anything at 2 a.m. That um, 
That's a silver, huh? Want some of my base trees? Sure, I'll take them. I have an almond croissant that I could eat, but it's like, again, it's like 2 a.m. It's a little late for that. You have a you have an almond croissant too. Yeah, let's go, dude. Dragon voice out. Imagine. Ram voice in. Imagine. That's what's gonna happen in EO. You're all dead. Everyone's dead. Every single gamer is dead. Someone earlier was suggesting uh, the idea of Kafka floors. So that would be the debuff. It would be uh, like the Kafka debuff. So like everything, all the all the AOEs were like fake and like flipped. That would be hilarious. That's bad. Okay. Ow. You have other moves, Mr. Chimera. Don't say you're gonna screw up your brain wiring. Yeah, get wrecked, dude. Hope that. Hope you enjoy that. Shaky playing the whole time. Being an engine, one one so nice. Just have to walk past all the nasty everywhere else is sweating over. Hell yeah, exactly, dude. Something I like about ninja a lot. Because the line conflict is so insufferable, you just get the same degens throwing the match every single game. You know, when I was playing Feast, uh, Italian Coco, back before Crystal Conflict existed, I created this like thing. Uh, when you were doing ranking anyway, I created this rule for myself. If I did a if I if I went into matches and I lost two in a row, I would not queue for an hour. And I would let the game kind of reshuffle the matchmaking because, man, how many times have I ever done feasts and I got the same people on the same on my team all over the place? And you just like lose all the time. Like it was very demoralizing. So that was the rule I I, I put into my feasting. I didn't really do much crystal conflict, but I would totally if I was ranking, I would do a very similar thing where like if I just lost two in a row, I noticed the same people. I just let the matchmaking matchmaking reshuffle for an hour and then come back and lose. And, uh, and I did have a lot more success that way, also a lot less stress. <laughs> like, seriously, like, way less stress on, on this stupid game mode. You know? Uh, something to maybe think about. Because, I don't know, the, for some reason, like, the, the matchmaking for PvP really is just kind of dumb. Like, I don't know why. Like, there really shouldn't be any reason why you get the same people over and over. I mean, I get it, because you probably, like, you know, you're probably playing against the same people over and over, but it's just... It's just really silly for that to happen, so... That was my way of dealing with it. Weird take, but it'd be sad if they don't include... That's not a weird take. I would be very sad if there's not gar if there's no apes, no guards, Daraban, and also no Manticore patrols. If I don't see a Manticore patrol, I'll be, I'll be like, you know, I'll be kind of sad. Unless there's something else that gets, like, ripped me apart on a daily basis. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to shade shift here. Not really what I want to do, but we'll do it. 
sucks that I have to not play during the hours. Um, I can because I put up the same bronze players in the gold game. I'm just playing, not just yeah, yeah. It sucks, but I mean, sanity is a little bit better than anything, right? Another one more? I, dude, I don't want to fight another one more. Yeah, it's kicking my butt. I do want to see to check if there's another chest. That's a treasure room. That's not happening. What about the exit? Wood sanity? You know, that thing that exists. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Stop, leave me alone! <laughs> God damn it. Alright, we're out of here, let's go. And I have I have less than a minute on uh less than two minutes on the clock, so we managed to go with that box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, is it blind? Alright, million patrols, love it. Okay, let's do the uh primary first. Come here, Mr. Chimera or Miss Chimera. This is Chimera. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, I missed. Okay. Wondering why my trick didn't happen, because I missed. <laughs> Ow? What the hell, dude? Thanks for your 5k crit. Ugh. There's at least four patrols, so that might be enough. I have two ice fights that I could pull, but an ice fight in a in a blind floor is asking to die. So I'm not sure I pull those. So I have at least four I can kill. That's a silver chest over there. I don't see any other chests anywhere else. Now this guy is gonna hurt. I better kite a little bit extra. Miss. Miss. Oh my god, I can't complete a combo! Uh, okay. We did it. Hooray. Next one. You don't have an opponent warrior? They're bad. Like, the only job that can really, like, handle them is a machinist, that's it. And I guess a healer, but I-, I dude... That was one time I fought a crawler and a healer in Gloom. Yeah, never again. Like, the worst experience I've ever had in my life. It took me, like, five minutes to kill one. <laughs> it's just stupid. What a terrible- what a terrible decision I made. The accuracy, PTSD, and blind floors? Don't worry, there'll be an- it'll be an endwalker. Uh, and EO too, so... Don't worry about it. Yet another... Yeah, good. I approve of this situation. Never lucky.
I only- oh, I do have one bomb. Okay, so I have two more kills. That would put me at about, what, five or six kills, so it might be able to get out of here with what we have. Outside of waiting for a respawn, which is also possible. What are my thoughts on New Paladin Deep Dungeon? In Palace of the Dead, you're just getting a weaker Paladin than it was in prior to the New Paladin. Uh, the potencies are less, you don't have Goring Blade, but it's still capable of clearing, so you know you don't have to worry about that. Now, in terms of Heaven on High, I think it feels fantastic. I like the way it flows. Um, honestly, the changes that it had with the mobility was probably the reason why it cleared. In Heaven on High, the one run we did, I, I got to the shrine with 9 seconds on the clock. And it's because I was able to ma maintain damage on the run, which was so nice. Like, good damage. Um, so, that was a good experience. It was just actually really fun to play the new Paladin. Like, I would totally play the new Paladin again in, uh, in Heaven on High. So it's probably going to be awesome in, uh, in, in Orthos. I can't wait. But it's not going to be one of the ones I do first, though. Like, that'll be in the back burner, but... Definitely one I'll be excited to try. Oh, thanks, Luke Beauty. Stabby. Stabby! I got my first palace clear with a group a few weeks ago. Am I the only one who thought the boss was disappointing? You thought it was disappointing? I didn't. I thought it was the best boss in the game. How is your first deep dungeon clear? I am not out of here. Shit. Um, that's not good, because I don't have a pull. Let me just see if anything else respawned, because something should have respawned by now, but the only pull I have now is like, oh, crawler. Alright, this is not gonna look well, but I have full buffs, so which we should hopefully be able to pull this off. We'll see. out. Uh, I can wait for Bloodbath again, I guess. Waste of time, though. I was expecting a final boss. There might be a final boss in EO, who knows. Alright, I'm gonna wait for Bloodbath. There's no way I can do this without Bloodbath. I do have shade, shade, shade shift, but yeah. Hell yeah, no life EO, just like the rest of us. Okay, good. Just enough. If I had to wait again, that would have sucked, but we're off we go. Do you think the stuff, like, auspices? Although the, uh, the, the pets? Something's gonna be gimmicky in there. I don't know what's gonna be gimmicky, though. I don't know if we'll do the pets again, but something's gonna be gimmicky. 
I don't have bloodbath. Are you kidding me? He hit me on the way over? Cheater. Almost out of defenses. I have one more to use, I don't want to use it. I have to. My super emergency I have to use this time they're coming. Um I'm gonna pox right now. I'm gonna run a bet that I may not run into another mimic for a minute or two, but yeah, we'll do it here. I have Bloodbath, so I'll pull the Archaeosaur, I think. I'll handle him. I have Kiting, and I have... Oh, I don't have Shade Shift, though. Maybe I'll do the Sprite first with Bloodbath. Yeah, I think that'll be a better choice. This, then Bomb, then back to Archaeosaur, probably. We'll see. If there's a gimmick, I hope it's skill based in some way. Same. I hope it's skill based in some way too. I hope there's an Easter egg, like the dodo, or like the special enemies, you know? I hope there's like a really cool Easter egg that's there. It, dude, I have to be so close to hit this thing. It's actually throwing me off a little bit. As long as it's different, um, the Airban asked that, but as long as it's different, then I'll be fine. I don't want the same thing. It's like a different feature. Right. Not really good options here. Ah, well that's a good thing. Because I could open the door to me, depending on what happens. You're hoping it's, four you're hoping it's 400? Well, it is almost like basically confirmed that it's a... Uh... 100, so... Can I do this without Bloodbath? Nope. Nope. That's a nope. Let me just check this chest real fast. Uh, I'm sorry, let me check the trap real fast. Uh, I don't shopkeeper? Shopkeeper would be nice, I like a shopkeeper. I don't think anyone liked 200, unfortunately. That is not what I'm looking for.
What spawned a, a dinosaur, right? Oh, a Vinthard! Oh! A Vinthard. I'm gonna just examine the... Oops, I almost like went right on the trap. <laughs> I'm gonna examine what this trap is and then we'll hunt down the Vinthard. Learning. Okay. Okay, didn't need the bin third. Time is not bad considering I've just been going through the floors normally. Just gotta keep make sure I don't make any mistakes. I'm gonna do a chess play here with an alteration and an affluence and we'll see what happens. You want 100 interesting floors over 200 samey ones? Mm -hmm. Okay, Dino, Crawler, Dino... I'm gonna do a Dino with Bloodbath, kind of. Corrigans. Good. I don't see chests, though. <laughs> what chests? Oh my god, there's like no chests. What a what an awesome affluence I got. One chest. Cool. And it's a freaking mimic. Oh my god, dude. Seven out of ten affluence, exactly. Did this in thirty seconds without strength or steel? That's pretty nice. Ow! Really? A cheater. <laughs> He 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 he. You wanna knock it off, dude? can kind of kite the uh, Archaeosaur without Bloodbath, like, kind of. I'd have to play, like, really well, though. There's a gold chest here. I mean, that post you made that Yabi Link was funny, I think, just to think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I laugh at that post because I, I later responded in Discord that the actual answer to... Like, what I was complaining about, straight up, was just to get good. Like, no lie. Like, that's just it's it. I just had to get better. And then I had my answer. But, you know. It was frustrating, because that, that post, the timing of that post was before there was anyone who cleared at all. So, essentially, we were we were trying to chase something that was impossible, because it hadn't been done. 
And I was I really wanted I really wanted to do it, but you know. Yes, such. I can't do these without Bloodbath. I don't remember if I can bind the Archaeosaur. I think I can. Which would buy me time, but I have to get through these stupid crawlers to make that happen. I could use this room, but... Come on! I can't bind him, Rip. He's gonna get another underbite and then AoE. Should survive. Not too bad. Not bad with like the kind of immense amount of kiting. Didn't have to use anything, so we're off to the next floor. What do you think is the most prestigious accomplishment between being an ultimate neck and neck miss or something else? Uh, I, I, you can't ask me because I, I've never done an ultimate. I think the best people to ask are the ones who've done both. Um, so you can't- you're not gonna get a proper answer from me, simply because of that. There's one enemy I can pull here. Oh my god, there's like nothing I can- Not healing? Okay. Hey, Chimera. I saw a yellow font. I thought a Chimera was coming. Uh, mm, I'm gonna wait. I did have a Chimera, it's not the one I was looking at. Come here, Mr. Chimera. Uh, yep. I got something for you. It's called Death. Nine six nine subs. Need more Ash? Uh, uh, we have a lot of Astro runners. Some of them have made it out of jail. To be fair, but uh, I think there's a lot of Astro runners actually. In my opinion. Uh oh.
Another Chimera incoming. Oh, actually, it's not coming this way. Okay, well, I might have enough to pull. That's four minimum, so I can at least get four kills. I gotta move, though. We gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get moving. It's 24 minutes on the clock. What is up with these, like, chests? There's nothing! I have a lot of Archaeosaurs, though. Uh, hold on. We got a free kill here, that's nice. Mary incoming. I need to pull him back a little bit. It's good. I'll have Bloodbath for the next Archaeosaur at least, so I can pull another one. And I have one more that I could deal with. Before I run out of pulls again. He forgot his abilities again. Ram's voice out! Almost got stuck on the wall. Nice! Let's get out of here. Um, just go straight into the next floor, I guess? Yeah, I guess. So I gotta watch my time, though, but... Oh, screw me. That was cut through my stage lift. Nice. I have nothing left. And I just parked myself right next to it. Great. Because that is the smart thing to do on my part. Alright. Uh, that's not cool. Not sure what I want to do. I have nowhere to go. Jesus Christ, dude. He's just gonna kill me again. Okay, not die there. That would be a good idea to do. Not coming this way. Jeez. 
Shade Shift coming in soon. At least I retained the raising, but yeah, that kind of sucked. That sucked! Big time! This song was in theater than last night. The, this is, um, what? FF4? 5? We got, like, 4 or 5. Uh, probably gonna rage this, because I, I don't have the time for it. Oh my god, really? Oh, I'm gonna have to act fast now. And I don't have Bloodbath. Uh, that's a landmine. I can't do anything with landmine. That's a luring trap. Okay, so... Ready? We do the double dip here. Had a lot of chests I could check, but we're just gonna go for time. Nice double dip. There's a debuff. Last time I got screwed because I did get no knockback. <sighs> again. He did it again. Alright, I'm gonna try to get through this floor. That's exactly what happened last time. Same floor, I think, too. 188. No knockback. I have not seen a strength or a seal this entire set. I'm still holding on to the ones I went in here with. I haven't used one, I haven't seen one. And I need one for the boss. A little slow. Two more Garms incoming. You gotta come here, dude. Like, I can't be dealing with you when you're gonna be dealing with more of your friends coming. There's no way. Not with all that coming. There's another one coming. Can't see shit. I have raising on. Okay. In the clear. Man's voice. Probably gonna have to rage last floor. 
like almost guarantee, but I'm gonna try to set it up so I can get some chests out of it. And do like a rage fortune thing. So I'm hoping for it. There's at least another one, so we might be able to get out of here with enough kills, but it's a little iffy. Our chaos or just respawn now? I can pull that with bloodbath. Before the other guard comes in, maybe. Dragon. Keeping an eye on that time. Potion running. Huh. Okay. Good. It's always a very nice. Oh, there's the Chimera. It's a one way street. Alright, we're gonna have to fight the Chimera having to deal with the worm shooting at me. Listen. Nice. Still lining. Dodge. Dragon boy in. Oh, oh shit! Man, thank god he's so big. I saw the- I saw the... The snake head. Oh, he's gonna aggro. Did you see the respawn in a, in a distance? I didn't see the respawn. So I didn't know there was one. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Ugh. No break for me, huh? I'm gonna have to use the last purity now. Let me just spawn this other mimic so I can really ruin my life. Okay. Um You know, I'm not gonna affluence, but I am gonna straight away rage on the next floor. I'm gonna sack myself if I get another mimic. I have to I have to I have to uh Oh and mmm, auto heal disabled anyway. Well that's interesting. Maybe I don't use the Purity now. Well, I have to use the purity. Steel. Yeah, I, I get. I just use the purity anyway. I have to use it for the boss regardless. There's so much shit here. Look at all the chimeras. <laughs> There's at least like five or six of them. Oh, 
There was so many chimeras. They're coming out of every single room. Like, literally every room comes out of Chimera. I can't take hits, because I can't heal Ben. So. Was it- is it 8? Nice. What a lovely number. What's oh, a landmine. There was one chest. If- if I... Uh, I will try, because I really could use something. I didn't- like, I, oh, I did pick up the steel, that's true, I picked up the steel, but... I'd have to die so fast if I pop a Mimic here. But not here. I have a Raising on. The die right here. Okay. Now I cannot check strength anymore. Alright, that worked out. Oh, there's one more chest here, though. Ooh, I didn't see this chest. Okay. <laughs> I need the chart. There's a landmine right there, so I went for it, but yeah. I have to pull now. I'm gonna do this a little weird though. Can you stop hitting me? Oh my god, dude. Uh, they're not good. Oh, this is bad. I have Shade Shift. I think it's one more. Okay, I can faint and I can I can Shade Shift. I have no other heals whatsoever. Bomb is gonna be to the... Where am I looking? To the east. I'll be fine here. I might hit the bomb. Am I hitting the boss? I am hitting the boss, okay. So I delayed it because I had weakness on the other one. I don't want to try to hit the bomb with the weakness, so that's why I delayed the, the use of it. The next bomb is going to be southwest here. Okay, we're in a much better situation with my healing. Did I have blood math going? It's gonna be south wet southeast over here. Okay, good. Eh, I could have positioned it better, but whatever. Nope. <laughs> I thought about it. This time. Bomb's gonna be middle for this next one again. What the hell? I didn't. That was a terrible Sakuchi. What the hell? Oh no, it did good. Okay, I did, I did do good Sakuchi. I thought my Sakuchi was ass, but it was pretty good. Getting the last lust back on. 
good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna heal. Bloodbath coming back up again. Oh boy! Next one's gonna be northeast. Ah, hit the wrong combo. Next one's gonna be south. Shade shift in case I get a little too low. Okay, good. Next one is going to be to the west. Ocean. Oh, shade shift. My emergency heal is not here anymore. Evoke shade shift in one punch. Oh, boy. I, did, I forgot about that other one. Go on. Next one's gonna be south east. Kind of over here -ish. Hit the wrong button. Sap. A re potion here. Healing. Uh, HP is gonna be good because I have multiple heals ready for the next tank buster. Mom's gonna be also to the south here. Stop punching me. Thank you. I need. Got spicy, I think, like twice, which is expected, but it was good. The beginning was hard, because the beginning I was gonna have a weaker a weaker damage output, so. Anxiety inducing. Yeah. Thanks, Sabone. And thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Godfather Angie, dude, he was real Angie. Would PewTie be possible in most shops if enemy only crit? If e wait, if enemies only crit? I, I think people will figure it out, to be honest. We always talk about 190, but one, uh, 180. Well, on melee, 180 is a, is a is a pushover. 190 is like it's a rough experience, that's for sure. This is not a fun. This is not fun on any job. <laughs> what do you mean? That that was thrilling. I love fights like that. I I I love fights like that. <coughs> it's boss like scary in DPS. Very scary. So the palms are a lot better than last time and respectable. I retained one steel, uh, two steels, and one strength. And I only picked up one steel the entire set, so we actually made it through. This is, I think, like a, a couple times we've, we've done this, where we actually made through 181 plus with no steels used. And, and melee, usually that's the problem, right? Like, retaining your steels. We didn't use a single one outside of the required one for the boss. Um, I mean, we used two rages, and we got screwed on uh, 188 for the second time, getting no knockback. But um, you know, we were, we were still able to pull it through and got some lucky spawns on that on that floor with a lot of chimeras. <coughs> so that's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty good. So we'll see what the the last set has 
has to give us. Uh, I will hit the restroom. Uh, we'll do a quick. Uh, we'll do a quick two minute. I'll just go get the rest. Get hit the restroom. Come back, and then we shall go right into one eighty one. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for that follow, Cosmic Night Owl. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we get a better finale. Last time we wiped on one ninety one because I was I just made some silly plays, but today was a lot cleaner. Uh, pretty happy with the overall set in, in general, and we'll just have to play clean on this last one. So, thank you. I'll come back in two minutes. Oh yeah, we'll give it 30 seconds. What's up, Cosmigal? Well, I'm busy. I'm busy with my thing, but maybe someone in chat. Well, what's your um, what's your uh, data center server? That could help. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what everyone's doing, but no, eh, no, it's still worth trying. Okay. Um, seven seconds, five seconds, and then we shall get started in the final set. 191. Let's see how we do it. On Z Ninja. Omnom Burger. Let's go in, guys. Let's do it. Let's not die in 191 today. That's my goal. Don't die in 191. Good song. One patrol. One patrol. Got a lucky hit in. Okay, not going this way. I got another mummy over there. Oh boy! Got another mummy over there. Another mummy over there. Are you kidding? Do I hate when they catch a sneak a hit in after I'm teleporting past them? So annoying. Oh boy, that's the second one. A much better pull. I don't know how many there are. I can only get two pulls if I rezo, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna chill for now. I'm gonna set up the next floor. I usually like to do an affluence into alteration for the next floor. I'm gonna do that first.
They're in a good spot, but I don't think it's worth the res unless I see another one. Your soundtrack makes me want to overpull, and I'm just AFK. <laughs> this song is so good. I love this remix of this song. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm so glad I can play it too. Hawkries, thanks to follow. Welcome in. Okay, I need to be careful about my position here. I don't want to trap myself. Pun intended. I don't want to trap myself in a bad spot here where I can't move when these patrols are coming in. Alright, I have a plan. I'm gonna try to get to the other side this way. I'm gonna have more I'm gonna have more space to move around if I come here. Just in case the patrols do come this way. I'm gonna bloodbath here, so I don't have to kite as much. I didn't check that chest on purpose. Because if it's a mimic, it puts me in a really bad spot. I wanna make sure I kinda clear up this area-ish first. Also, I need to mind the fact I don't have purity. Not that I can do much about it, but it's something I need to keep in mind. If I pull this mummy, it does clear up the room for me, so I can use it as a kiting room. Just in case a course comes in, I can go both sides here, so that'll be good. Course is not coming in right now, looks like I have some time to spare. Course might be coming, I see one. Oh. That was a little awkward. I almost died from jumping. Don't fellow, hello, thank you. I'm gonna need it a little bit. A little bit. We'll need a little bit. Son. They're both coming this way. Hopefully the trap doesn't give me a problem. Alright, we managed them. I just gotta wait for them to get out of here, and then we're okay. I'll probably check the chest next. Was there a mummy in this room? Negative. I'm not sure if there's another mummy I can poke. There's one room I didn't check, though. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait for them to move. Just in case. I need to pull. I need to be careful, but if he comes this way, I can hug around the right side in the donut, if he comes in this direction. He did come that way. Okay, but I am out of pulls, so... 
Um, I could try to do the trap who's gonna obliterate me, but I think that's not a bad idea because I can just range attack him. And I can go out when I'm running out of HP, so let's just do that for now. Gotta chill a little bit because the damage is gonna be high. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I saw a crit, I'm like, nah. That ain't looking good. Oh, I don't have heals going. Oops. No, I do. Not bad. Didn't have to do anything extra there. I just hope I can get to the exit before the course comes, which I should. I sprint. Alright, off the first floor. Okay. Good. Good first floor. Now the gamble, the RNG kicks in. No debuff, except I don't hear Gloom, so Gloom is very possible. Okay, there you go. Excellent! I love this for me. Really, really love this for me. And it's a freaking M. And it's more than mix of strength, come on. If I get another mimic, I'm gonna steal, but I'm hoping I can kill this in 30 seconds. Don't really need the witching in any other circumstance for now. But we'll just do it this way. I am gonna this thing's about to pop out, so you need to be careful. No pox. Okay, good. Uh, mm. Oh wow, there's a lot of courses. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of courses! Um, Alright, so what's the plan? There's three of them walking back to back. I need to be able to sneak them all in kind of one go and there's a trap in my way. So I think... A good play is to kill this trap here as fast as I can, and then go for the Bezalo after that. So this does not become a problem. Okay, this is gonna work out kind of nice-ish. Two shots, that's why it's nice. I think this one behind me. I didn't look behind me. Oh! Uh, please no. I know, like, I left the mummy alive, I know. Oh, it's gonna hurt! Oh, I'm gonna probably die here. Please no! Ah! Uh, that sucks. And it's right on top of me. Holding. Steal. Okay. Alright, that was- I should have done the, um, the patrol first, so that was kind of my bad. But hopefully we'll be able to make it up here. So you'll have to unfortunately come out, which is one thing I probably didn't need to use here, but... Yeah, the shank's gone, that's the only crappy thing. More than likely I'll see another one. Maybe. That's not- I would say on a level of 1 to 10, what kind of mistake that was, it's probably like a 4. Uh... 
it's it's not terrible because I I might get off this floor pretty fast very soon. But yeah, it, it wasn't a great thing. And it doesn't. I don't even afford. Yeah, I don't even afford myself the chest, unfortunately. Um. I don't know where the exit is either, so that's the other problem. I have to check that room. Ah, that's a good one. I have to check the room up there because I need to see if it is the exit because I have no idea. I don't think it is though. Yeah, but the, the better play, I heard the chorus. I should have backpedaled and went for the chorus, but I committed to the mummies thinking I'd delete the mummies. And then it became a complicated thing because the, the hippograph moved. And I didn't want to clip the hippograph, so I misangled my resolution. And that's why it, it kind of collapsed after that. It was, just, it was just kind of a bad set of circumstances, but it is what it is. I'm gonna alter. Uh, if it's not proximity, I can, I can avoid aggro from sound and sight, but the problem with this specific floor is a lot of things are proximity. But we'll have some use for stealth here and there, but yeah. Not as much as like 181, where 181 was really good up there. Okay. Uh, these intuitions are coming in. The chorus is blocking, I mean, the wraith is blocking the chest up there. I don't have a raising anymore, so my insurance is gone. It is Mimics again, and there's an Onyx Dragon already. At least I know already. This is Flighted. Probably gonna Flight again because I have a lot of them. Check the chests first to fish out any mimics, and then um, we will proceed and find another kill. If I more than likely I need it, I'll be shocked if I'm at him too. Good sight, that's a good one. I like that. That's terrible. What can you do? I gotta check the chests. Yeah, it's been we had like twenty one mimics in this in this in today alone, so that's a lot, I'm sure. Can I get to any other chests? Question mark. Now with the patrols coming. Yeah, but if I get another one after steel, I am forced to steal. I can't run a risk of trying to fight a mimic without steel, which I've done it before. But I can do it without this. I can do it with a uh, with the confidence that I could take a death, but not without the confidence. Uh, we'll go in this way. Okay. Um, cancel. I can get that chest before uh, I think I aggro the the wraith. I think. Good. Okay, that was good. Oh crap. My thing, uh, my G City locked up there. I have stun. Thinking about doing a strength, but maybe not yet. I might hold on to it for a little bit. Why did I run away? <clears throat> not sure why I decided to run away when I, I, I actually consciously thought, oh, okay, I have stun, so a little stun. Room's ass for that. P 
pure MG thanks to the follow. All right, we're gonna pull the dragon. So, like, for some jobs, a decision that can be made here is that, um... To potentially, like, okay, let's say I had limited serenities. To potentially run into this issue of a no item, I can pre-strength and steal right now. And then I could try to fight through the next floor with the strength and steal. But one, I have pox on. Two, it doesn't really matter because I don't think I can kill anything without, without any type of healing on melee, so... The strategy of like pre-using uh, strength and steel is almost pointless, um, so it, it doesn't become an option right now to avoid a no item scenario. I just have to hope I don't get no items. That's kind of what you're, what I'm kind of thinking about. Okay. Um, I'm going to do another triple flight alter and. Uh, affluence here. I like getting rid of my altars early. I don't necessarily like combining altars and flights, however, uh... I, I, I don't typically use them past like 186 anyway, so I may as well just burn them out now. We have poxes that can't get double pox. Yeah, but they could re-stack it. Uh, that's just not a good floor. And I got mimics on top of the exit. Um... So the, the altars have definitely hurt me today. That's a that's either a steal or it's, actually it's a steal no matter what. Just do I fight through the gloom or not? I probably don't fight through the gloom. Hmm. Let's see what the chests have to give me. Oh, another steal. Okay. That does make my decision just a little bit easier. Be very careful here. This thing could still delete me. You know the patrols are coming. 4.2k. <laughs> yeah, you know. And I gotta fight at least two more. Oh crap. Uh, time to hide. I'm gonna fight one right now with Bloodbath. Here just because the show comes. A little smoother with Bloodbath, definitely. I'm not potion running. Okay, Witching is good. Let me check the other runes while my Bloodbath is regenerating. Afraid of, uh, to do, I'm afraid to do fight Mimics without a job, I can't interrupt them. Yeah, that's always a fun experience, that's for sure. i probably fight this mummy, huh? Nope. That's not a chest. That's a chest, but I'm not gonna fight it. Okay, we're gonna make our way back to the Mimic, because probably by the time I am back, I have my Bloodbath. And then we'll see what happens. I'll do another flight here.
You're over there? Alright. Never lucky. Oh, I shouldn't have done... This one is not cooperating. I have to use everything for this holy quest. I have second win. Oh god. Anytime. Don't aggro, don't aggro, don't aggro. Okay. Made it out alive at least. On me. What is this theme? This is uh, Mount Golg in in Sh uh, Stranger Paradise. A remix of it. Hell yeah. Okay, two patrols are coming in. They're both going to the exit. Pulling you. I need to pull like right now. Really badly timed stun. Oh man. Strength still lasted me this whole floor. That's not good. I was hoping to carry it open to the next set, but I'm gonna find the hallway. This should hopefully be enough. This is like the fifth kill. Like, it should be out of here. Back behind. Oh no. Alright, well, the strength and steel lasts to this floor. But that's, uh, that's all I can, I can, uh, I can get out of it. Whew. I'm gonna flood back here. Finally, out of here, with the full duration of the Strength and Steel. Yikes. We made it to 95. One Steel left over. Now, like, what's funny is that I think I didn't even see a single Dragon, and the Dragons usually show up here, and they're kind of not too bad to fight. But... Oh, I'm not in the angle. <laughs> I'm like, where? why is it not working? Oh, that's not good. Gloom is bad. That is extra bad. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do the last steal here. If I don't want to surrender, I have to steal. Back 
No strength though. Let it heal. Jesus, dude. I need I need HP, man. Oh, that's not good. Witching. Man, that sucks. Ugh. If I get another mimic, I probably have to serenity at this point because I can't survive that damage. With strength, it's a, it makes a little bit more sense, but it's a rough experience. And I'll have that much room to kite. Resolution came back, huh? That's not bad. Not with Pox, though. Uh, we have the dragons, but how does the exit look? The exit is not really clear. There doesn't seem to be patrols though. Well, there's a... Okay, there's that. Okay, let's go over here. Dragon's gonna be a lot easier to handle. I'm gonna pull the bicep. With bloodbath, but not without bloodbath. I guess I'll check the chest first. If it's a mimic, I'd probably have the serenity, which would really be dumb, but I need chests. Treasure room? I can't do anything with a treasure room, unfortunately. A much easier fight that was. Alteration under the gamble. Yeah, I could do it. Do another flight alter. I gotta pull the biceps though, but we're gonna do that next. Happy, what's up, dude? I did two months. I appreciate it, man. Happy Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday. One of the smoothest voices on Twitch, I swear. Love hearing him talk. Be having a good night, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna blood bath for the biceps, and then uh, if I need another pull, I think there's another dragon I can poke. Wait, there was another dragon I can poke. Okay. Ow. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. This one's gonna be a, a bit of a tough run. Uh, there's a lot of ways this can go wrong, so I gotta just hope I can play fairly clean. Case in point with this dude. Wait, I can't stun you, right? Oh god. Uh, I need time to heal. I need time to heal, and I need to survive a tank buster. Running, 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 running. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> he was about to hit me. I, you know what I was worried about, Parsley? 
was uh, I was partially worried about the um, the duration of Dream Within a Dream because it has a little bit of an animation delay. Night. Okay, we're good. Should be far enough from the exit. He's like, he's like that. Cause I've I've died I've died a lot of times because of animation delay. Let me tell you. Oof, that's uh, immediate serenity. Can't do much about that. However, I do have Shanks and Seals all the way, so there's that. Alright, I gotta move right now. One of these is altered as well, so I need to find it. It is Corrigan's. Okay, good. Uh, the Goober's gonna be next. Really fast while I still have Steel on. We gotta take him out. With the Steel. Very important I do that. Oh my god, dude, I'm trying to hit the buttons. Alternatively, I could Rezo, but I want to fight it straight up and see if I can get off this floor clean. Um... Okay, let's hope this does not hurt me too bad. Faint here, Bloodbath. Can stun him. Two. Oh wow, I'm out. Alteration? Mm. Man, I want to check chests. I don't have a steel. Uh. Mm. No steel rezo is painful. I'm gonna give this a chance with the chest. So what I'm gonna plan right now is if I get a mimic, I'm going to get the bloodbath up and running and just get to the exit as fast as I can. Yeah. Not alter though. If I can retain the rage, I can alter, but if I lose the rage, I can't alter. A hey, Sky. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I have the thing. Excellent pickup. That's precisely what I wanted. I think that's all I really want to have. So I think I'll just make my way out now. Yeah, that's enough of a gamble. <laughs> Alright, we gambled. We got the steel I wanted. I really don't need anything else and we should be okay. Actually, let me hide. This will make my life a lot easier. Okay, I'm gonna chill here. How did you tell it was Corrigan so fast? I saw the I saw their the models already, like really fast. I need to wait for the biceps to move. Which he did. Okay. I gotta be careful because of that eyes behind me. Now I also have to worry about the fact that I have only two serenities now. Um I could pop this chest, but I think I'm just gonna head to the next floor. Because the exit's already up. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that was like 2000. No, that's like 2017, right? Not, not 13. Okay, hold on. Uh, Gravekeeper. And a knight. Hmm. Do I sight? Do I steal? 
This seems like a really good floor to rage, because then it opens the door for me to do a rezo in the last couple. But then I'd need to know where to go if I'm gonna do a rage. And I need to make it happen very fast. Probably that way, okay. Nice. <clears throat> I think I still rage no matter what, but at least I have some time to think right now. <clears throat> but do I try to double dip is the question. And a steal. Man, what's the chances I aggro three of them at the same time? <laughs> Anyone know? That's like way too close. Like, I'm, I think I get the knight, but I don't know about the other two. Like, they're just like right at the edge of the... Right at the edge of the aggro range. This is Harvestella music, yep. Can't you believe they put it in the game, dude? I can't believe it. Um, so there's a there's a Wraith over there. Two Wraiths. One, two, three... Uh, I know, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna safety. So one thing that's really important to note is apparently with enough data, we can almost confirm, although, you know, until it, we're pretty much at a situation where unless someone shows a screenshot otherwise, uh, we cannot get no knockback in the last three fours. So I am almost guaranteed I will never see a no knockback on 198. So if I try to double dip here, I will get the benefit of it. So the question is, how do I make the most of it? That's, the, that's my question. I don't see another patrol. Um... So, I want to try to get 7 kills, so I'm going to wait for the Grave Keeper to come back and then we'll rage. I muted voices after the story ended just for crappies. <laughs> I don't blame you. Alright, 7? Is 7 going to be enough? Question mark. That's 7 kills I can produce. It's like, it's like middle range. It's not, it's not a great, it's not a great number, but it's a possible number. So we're going to double. One, two, I did safety, three, I did drop a chest, I did fortune, I didn't think it'd be out of here. Hmm. I'll commit to this floor at this point. There's no point going double dip. I'll just see if I can maybe get a chest or something. Well, I mean, I do have the steel, so we'll be kind of okay there. I probably don't need chests, but... Hello? So I can avoid the pox. Like, if I get pox, that really creates an, an issue. So I think what I want to try to do is... Let's get to 99. And then if my rezos are in bad shape, then I can consider popping chests, but at least for now, I can avoid all chests and just rezo. <clears throat> okay, that doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, we can- oh, we're certainly taking that out. That's a pretty good rezo there. Hello? Open the chest? Hello? Open the chest? Okay. Holy moly. I'm gonna wait for the Wraith to shoot at me, and then we will... We will Rezo. I need the Wraith to shoot at me so it doesn't become too much of a problem though. Gravekeeper incoming. So the, so the Gormon can stun, the Wraith can stun, the Biceps cannot stun, nor can the Knight, nor can the Gravekeeper. Shoot! Hello! You have the ability to shoot me. I believe you. I believe in you. You can do it. I, dude, I'm, I'm close enough. Just shoot me. It's one of those things where it's like, the moment I rezo it'll do it, but then if I don't do it, it'll never do it. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm in range, dude. You shot me from across the map. Thank you. Good lord. This is a little awkward. Okay. That was a little awkward. It kept, like, jumping. I didn't move much, though. I've seen them shoot at me before like that. No, oh, that's okay. I think I got his foot. Did he get his foot? I should survive this. Should we clip him? Nice crit. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, bad. Bad. Can't even see the AoE. <laughs> it's like, where's the AoE? Um, not there. Damn, I'm not gonna get much. Oh crap! Uh, well, I'm gonna have to do that. I did safety. That's a chest. I'll take it. Um, okay. Let's clear this out. Make sure the Gravekeepers don't get at me. I'm gonna save the last Rezo for the... for 199. Time is fine, I don't really worry about time, it's just getting to the floor. Getting to the exit is the thing. I'll need- I'll know where to go. I will check chests now, because I could use just a little extra help. Even if it's a Mimic, well... Mm, actually, no, cancel that. If it's a Mimic, I get the Pox, then Rezo becomes a dangerous play. Yeah, let's get to the next floor first. If I don't hit the exit, or rather I don't get to the exit on the 99, then I start popping chests. That'd be a good play. I don't have stun. How oh, useful is hide? It it you will aggro. Hold on. You will aggro proximity, but you can avoid aggro from sight and sound, and it's really nice, especially for sight specifically, because you can get through rooms like treasure rooms if they're all sight enemies. So it, it's very nice in that department. Um, and the fact that it resets your your it resets your ninjutsu is probably the more important part. Is that your burst keeps coming up every single time, which is really nice. But it is a very good tool. Oh, you want to do the... The, uh... The... I haven't been able to do that, though. I've never been able to pull that off. If you spawn a Mimic, but you still get through the room. Let's change the thing here. No, no. People are gonna get PTSD on that one. That's a good one. Um... We'll take that one? Yeah? Maybe? One more change. Yeah, this works. Okay. I should take care of the Gravekeepers first. Reason is because I'll have my my sustaining up, so... 
to trick the phone. Precision. Surprised I didn't actually get he didn't actually hit me with the tank buster. Might be too early. It was too early. Alright, it's fine. That feels. Whoa! I might need to do another one for the last Gubu. Okay, I got him. Double kill. I'm going for the Gubu over here, because this is more dangerous than the raids on the other side, not that I could even do much- Oh, there is a knight right on top. I didn't get it all. I gotta do this all in the steel, so I need to be a little picky. The best enemies I could fight without steel is going to be the Wraith. So I want to probably pull a knight uh, earlier rather than later. This thing's kicking my ass. Oh boy! Solid crit coming in. Holy moly! And there's a there's a gravekeeper behind me, so that's nice. Um, let's pull a wraith with my bloodbath down. That second steel pickup was tremendous. Pick up another steel was probably the game changer. If I didn't have it, this would be very spicy. At least I have options to pull. Knight next, we're gonna pull knights. A fire blood. A yabi? You're late? Hey, you're right on time. Exactly, you're exactly when you need to be. Oh, I can do this without bloodbath? Hello? The Gubu is way more dangerous, oh my gosh. And that's the finale. I'm out of here. Peace! Got my redemption. Ninja's done. Had to use everything. I had to use everything. We got it. Good. We died 191 last time, but uh, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. I like this one. This really was challenging. Um, oh yeah, burn off all the intuitions. What if I sight pre emptively? Oh, found the key. I hit altar, so what happens if- oh, the altar is actually still in effect. Rip. And it is- ew. It's the- I don't even know what this is called. It's like a red thing. Oh, it's a fire crest. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Uh, Bat Batuhan. Thanks for the follow. Ta da! Okay, shot backwards. Wait, where am I going? Here we go. Get some cat butt in the shot. Wait, I gotta go here? Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Cat and button tail. The back shot. Imagine an altered 99 spawn and mimic in the pumpkin. Dude, I'd love that would be entertaining for you guys. That's for sure. Alright, ninja ninja re-cleared. Look at this awesome, sick, amazing score. Top tier right there. Best thing you're ever gonna see. Alright. Hey guys, thanks for watching that. Let's go! Ninja's done. Pretty good. Pretty good in Endwalker. That was my first clear on ninja for Endwalker. Still a good job. Um it's a fun job to play. I'll still stand by that.
probably entertaining for you guys, maybe. A couple people getting some anxiety. We, we, we like to induce anxiety over here, but, um... Good match? Yeah, see? Uh, AR, Pimpy, thanks for the five, I appreciate that. Cheers, dude. Funky Boy, Lumel, Magnus, Above Us, and Kenshin. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for everyone being here. Um, if you haven't already, highly, highly recommend popping into the Discord. We are getting ready for, um, we are getting ready for the new Deep Dungeon. Why is my bot not working? Why is my bot slow as hell? What the hell? I've been noticing this on my bot, it's just like really slow. Uh... That's it. When is the dis- when is that? Uh, I don't know, dude. Okay. Discord- okay, bot, you suck. Um, where's my timer? I'm just gonna have to copy-paste it at this point. Uh, here. Here. And... Here you go. There you go. All the socials. Discord, if you want to follow us. We're going to be busy for Eureka Orthos. We're getting it set to go, so keep that in mind. If you want to do solo or anything, uh, I'd like to think we are going to be the source for all the good information. So do that. Twitter, now to go live, all the YouTube. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, for more Fire Emblem Engage. I might stream earlier. We'll see how I feel. But definitely we'll be live at least by 9 p.m. if you want to see more Fire Emblem. I think we're in Chapter 12, I believe. We just did a side story. We did a paralogue. So, um, we're moving along with that game. And then Sunday, the next Deep Dungeon stream is Sunday 9pm Eastern. Black Mage Heaven on High, it was requested. We will do Black Mage in Heaven on High. So if you want to see how that job goes and flows, Sunday 9pm Eastern. But thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go drop you off somewhere. Someone who's streaming something. Um... And we'll go do that. Hey, thank you for being here, everyone. I appreciate you all. Um, let's see. Who can I send you off to in the directory? Miss Jane is up. I like dropping you guys off there, but... Uh, oh, I can go to Rhinosaurus or... Ooh, Dreamy's kicking ass. I'm gonna... Maybe Dreamy. Uh... Uh... Ben streaming, but but I feel like it's late for Ben. I don't want to drop drop you guys off there because it might be too late for him. I'm actually surprised he's still he's still up and about. Um, let's drop you guys off to Dreamy. So friend Dreamy too. She is a VTuber. She's very nice. Uh, she is doing story. Oh, she's doing. Wait, she's doing. I think she's doing main story. So we'll drop you guys off there. Nice chill stream. There's like, you know, all the top streams are happening right now. If you guys want to watch them, I'm sure you already know where to go. But I always like to, you know, just in case you haven't met the cool the other people around, uh, we'll drop you off at Jimmy. Um, again, I hope to catch you tomorrow or Sunday. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful night, weekend, whatever you're going to be doing. Appreciate you all. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. This was a great run. Appreciate it. Let's go. Let's go raid.